Cause it's well along and long Without a clue Without a sign Without a question yet The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur At this masquerade Hiding both face and mind Afraid for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur What a shit to be Please don't take off my mask Revealing dark Nothing to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's everything what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chauffeur I was masquerade Hiding no face in mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me When it all the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chauffeur At Boots Masquerade I didn't both face and mind I prefer for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise Without 
Welcome back to another PE Live. I want to thank each and every single one of you guys for joining me today on this glorious 
May 7th, 2019. I don't know what date it is. I don't know what date it is. All I know is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes I don't know what the dates are, but I need to know what the dates are because we have some pretty cool games coming up and we have some interesting developments that could be coming up here. But first, guys, there's one thing that I must tell you guys is that it's hot in my room and I must turn on the air because the air is off. So give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to be sweating through this Sonic shirt that I'm wearing today. I'll be sweating through this Sonic shirt. So how's everybody doing? Um, let's, go, let's go to get into it. We're, we're not going to have a ton of time to really dilly-dally, okay? Really dilly-dally around, all right? We're not going to have a ton of time. But we need to get into the Ninja News, okay? So once again, guys, we do have a brand new layout on the channel. So make sure you guys check it out. Very simple, easy player essence it's been fixed yesterday i know that there were some issues getting the latest videos up it was because it was on manual and it was not on um auto but if you go on the um if you go on the main page right now like uh, let's just go over there right now let's go ahead and head over there um if you go to the main page everything is fixed everything is good um you guys will be able to see uh, when i'm live uh you guys will be able to see right here it says player essence all the latest videos will be automatically added in terms of player essence videos all the latest PE lives will be automatically added in terms of PE lives. All the latest PE podcasts will be automatically added. And as my videos get more popular, if we get some more popular videos, obviously they'll be put onto here. We actually had one break into it. Uh, my Nintendo is back in its glorious video actually popped in here. So that's pretty good. Pretty good for 54K. So thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Um, once again, the community page. Where we, we will be updating the community page more normally now. Um, so as you guys can see here, I'll be listing new videos that come up. Um, I'll also be talking about uh, PE Live. Some of them will go unlisted uh, just because I don't want to blow you guys' notifications up every single time. So some of them, if it's unlisted or you don't know where the podcast went or like, not the podcast, but if you don't know where the PE Live went, it's probably going to be right here. So you're going to be able to watch, you can watch the whole thing right here from the community page. Um, so yeah, we also have another Fire Emblem Three Houses. You guys really responded well to this Fire Emblem Three Houses video. I was actually surprised with it getting nearly 6,000 views. So thank you guys or 5,000 something views. Uh, so we do have another Fire Emblem Three Houses video detailing some more new characters, uh, or well, one new character, Hubert, and then also um, going over the three main characters and kind of ramping up that Fire Emblem Three Houses coverage. So look forward to that tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. That Fire Emblem video will be live for you guys, and that one should be pretty good. Uh, got some pretty good editing on there, more characters to go over. This one we already we only went over two characters, I think. Uh, and this one we're going to be going over four characters and kind of my thoughts on what they're doing with the plot and other things like that. So this should be interesting for tomorrow's video um all right um i think that's it for ninja news uh remember guys make sure you guys hit the like button and uh subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and hit the bell notification as you guys can see right here uh well no you can't see right here but um there's a bell notification on videos make sure you guys click that bell so you get my videos uh pretty much um every single time but uh, another thing guys here uh with the with the home page you guys can actually see when the pe podcast goes live Every Thursday, 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Baron, Jordan Fringe, and Mandy Lee join OJ to talk all the best gaming news for the week and a little bit more than that. So um, that is up right there. So nobody should be confused on when the time of the PE podcast is because it is right up there. I will be adding a little footnote to this is that um, 6 a.m. is when I usually upload um, Player Essence videos, 6 a.m. And PE Live is usually around 1.30, 1 o'clock, 1 1.30 time, uh, Monday through Friday. So there you go. Or Monday through Saturday, really. So awesome stuff. All right, guys, so that's it for Ninja News. And like I said, we will be getting a new banner and new new stuff coming into the next couple of days and stuff like that, or weeks, weeks. Um, all right, uh, the one above all has subscribed. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the village. I appreciate you subscribing. All right, so let's get into the shout-outs, shall we? Um, if you are here in the chat and you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi. I'll be more than happy, more than happy. Yo, Mr. BDS, I see you, my boy. I see you. Um, how's the day treating me? The day's treating me pretty good. I, I can't lie, guys. Um, I don't lie to you guys. The day's been going pretty well. Um, I had a good day. I got everything done. I got tomorrow's I got tomorrow's Fire Emblem video done already for you guys. And I've already pretty much um, got, um, um, I've got like today's going. We're going to have a nice stream. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to go to sleep. Or, dude, I'm going to sleep by like nine or 10 o'clock tonight. Cause we're going to be able to stream here. And then we're going to, we're going to have Mario Kart right after this. And then we're going to stream tomorrow. And then we're going to stream later for the PE Nightcast. And then after I'm done with, dude, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to watch a little bit of uh, Twitch, maybe Hook Gang God, play Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm out. And then I'm sleeping because tomorrow I got to go to the gym. So, yeah, everything's been going good. I'm, I'm back on track, guys. So, I'm back on track. <laughs> Chris, Farr, I'm back on track. Um, so, yeah, everything's back on schedule. So, it's looking good. Looking good, man. Looking good. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into the shout outs. If you want me to say hi, do you feel free to say hi in the chat? We're more than happy to say hi back to you. Uh, OJ and Sonic did nothing wrong. I did Sonic, gotta go fast. Did nothing wrong. Did absolutely nothing wrong. Yo, Big Milo in the house. What's good, Big Milo? You out of the hospital yet, my man? Oh, still hospital gang. Okay. Um, Rufus, Alina Ninja Rufus, what's good? James Morrison, what's up? Dragon Gamer, what's good? Jarmo, what's up, guys? Like my shirt? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Kaido J, what's up, man? T Dude, Galaxy B. Thank meme. What's good, man? Uh, what's good, OJ? Uh, like that cloud fighting game? Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. I got to clip that part, dude. We were just watching that stupid game. Uh, Party Man, what's good, man? KJ2399, what's up? Jay, what's good? Kenyatta always says, what up, brother? What up, man? Zero, what's good? I, um, Somebody on Twitter, remind me which, what stream was it that we watched that so I can remember to clip that part? What stream? Was that last night's stream? Was that the night stream or was that the day stream that we watched that? I don't remember which one it was. So, does anybody remember which one it was? Um, yo, what's up, Smash JT? What's good, man? Good to see you here in the chat. Shout out to my boy, Smash JT. Make sure you guys check out his channel. Very good channel. It was the night stream. Okay, got it, got it. It was the nightcap. Got it. Thanks, Dink Beam. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm going to clip that, and I'll probably put it up for the weekend for you guys. That, like, a reaction to this stupid game. Oh, that game was dumb, dude. That messed up fanfare. <laughs> was the most jacked up version of fanfare that I've ever heard in my life, dude. Like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, Wound up Penguin, what's good? Nero, what's good, man? Uh, yo, shout out to my name got user Fairy Tiger. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Joshua Tobar, what's good? Sam Yargo, what's up, my boy? Streamlabs is here. It's telling you guys to become an elite ninja. You guys listen to Streamlabs. Um, Aiden Quinn, shout out to Elite Ninja Aiden Quinn, Dawson31, Elite Ninja Dawson's here as well, what's good man, what's good, what's good, uh, Mr. Medius, since I'm not getting notifications on the streams on YouTube, that's weird, yeah, um, yeah, if you're not getting notifications, just make sure you, you have your notifications set on Twitter too, so, uh, you can get like the double notification, um, so yeah, yeah, make sure you have that set as well, Alucard, what's good, thank you guys for reminding me, it's the night stream, okay, night stream, I will clip that for you guys, the only problem is that like, I have to download the whole video, and it's three hours, so that does take some time then to clip it. Um, Dank Beam says about an hour in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yo, what's good, guys? Gunslinger, Elite Ninja Gunslinger's here. Good to see you, my boy. Good to see you. Gunslinger, you're getting better. You're getting better, but we got to work on your Ike. We got to work on your Ike from last night. I think your Mario's a bit better than your Ike, so we got to work on that. But otherwise, good games last night. Um, I think I was just playing really well. To be honest, I was just playing extremely well. I didn't drop a whole, I didn't drop a set, or I didn't drop a, sorry, I didn't drop a game. That whole time that we were playing last night, which is the first time ever in Ultimate that I've played you guys and I didn't drop a game. So I think I was just playing really well that night. I don't know. I was just kind of feeling it. Uh, but I usually drop I usually drop a game and I usually drop sets. I usually drop a set too. I, I don't think I've, I've never not dropped a set during a uh, stream last night. So I was, I was just playing really good last night. I don't know. I was feeling it maybe. Um, yeah, you guys were playing good too though. It was good. It was good training. Very good training. A lot of you guys were playing really well. I saw I saw a lot of improvements. I saw a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff from a lot of you guys. I mean, VC, Party Man, all of you guys were playing well, in my opinion. Um, and uh, we're all getting better together. That's the thing. I've seen that we're getting so much better. Remember when Ultimate first came out? Oh, my gosh, dude. Like, we're playing so much better now at this point than when Ultimate first came out. So I'm really happy about that. We're all getting better together. Um, Jordan Fringe is here. What's good, Jordan Fringe? He says, I am a fortune teller. I called a new monkey ball. Well, hold up. It's just a, it's just a trademark, so we have to wait and see. We're going to get into it. Danny Ingram, what's up, man? Uh, let's see here. You're still the only person ever to flawless victory me, victory me in Smash. Still haven't lived that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I did. I think I did flawless victory you. I think it was, I think it was twice, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. The thing about it, JT, is that if you if you're not used to playing a tournament level player, then that that could that could happen, you know, because I think you just haven't really played. I mean, I'm a very low caliber, low caliber, low caliber tournament player. Like I'm good in my region. Like if I actually tried and went to every single one, I'd be ranked in my region. But I mean, Central California is kind of lame anyway. But um, I would be ranked if I actually went to tournaments and tried really hard. I'd probably be like top top ten or top fifteen like ranked in my region. But I just don't. I just don't go to enough tournaments to even be ranked. Like, I just, I go every 
once a month or twice a month, I'll go to a local and I go to none of the regionals. I, do, I go to nothing up in like Northern Central California. I don't go to anything. So, so yeah. Yeah, it's like we are training for the cell games. Yeah, dude. Uh, you said, yeah, that's a big yikes. <laughs> I am untouchable. Star Mix, what's good, man? Joshua, what's up? We got the whole crew running through today. Let's go. Pearly21, I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing today? Um, it's good to see you guys here. It's good to see everybody here, even if you can just join us for a bit. Tom Plays, what's good, man? How's it going? Boys and Vicini, what's up, man? Uh, 14 hours of editing. Feels good. Ready to sleep, bro. That's a lot of editing, my boy. Um, that's a lot of editing. All right, guys. So shall we get into the content here? Because I know Jordan Friends wants to hear this monkey ball stuff, huh? All right. So Sega, we're going to go ahead and go over to my favorite website, Gamatsu. Uh, if you guys are loving the live news, you guys are loving the live coverage of new stuff breaking, please make sure you guys hit that like button and share the stream if you can while we get into the main topics here. So Sega has officially trademarked uh, Tabe Goro Super Monkey Ball in Japan. New Super Monkey Ball came in development. Dun, dun, dun. Sega has a trademark. Sega has trademarked Tobe Goro Super Monkey Ball in Japan. Tabo, is it Tabagoro? Tabagoro means ripe, in season, or good to eat. It, it could mean all of them. Ripe, in season, or good to eat. So a fresh monkey ball? A fresh monkey ball, good to eat. Monkey ball first launched in the arcades in 2001, followed by the Jordan Fringe Edition on GameCube as a Super Monkey Ball the same year. The latest entry in the series, Super Monkey Ball Bounce, launched for the iOS and Android in September 2014, but was removed from sale in 2015. That's that's the typical Sega thing to do. We have a new Super Monkey Ball for you on Android. <laughs> oh, by the way, I take that back. Football Manager for you. Football Manager for you. Football Manager and Yakuza. Only PlayStation. <laughs> Prior to that, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz launched on the PS Vita. <laughs> on the PS Vita. In June 2012, this is the most Sega thing I've ever listened to. <laughs> when I tell y'all Sega been doing stupid things for a decade, this is what I'm talking about. What type of release list is this? Wait, but what is this? The GameCube to the to the iOS and Android? Then let's take that away, and then let's just say, oh well, let's put it on the Vita next. Like, get you. Wasn't there like one on the Wii? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> this is the most Sega thing ever. Uh, Sega has not announced the development of a new Super Monkey Ball title. So, Ninja, Elites, I ask you guys all, what is going on here? You guys think a new Monkey Ball is coming? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Tag me at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence. I'll be more than happy to answer your burning Monkey Ball questions. Um, OG says they got to go back to the original design. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. I think that'd be nice if they did. Oh, uh, what the hell is the Vita? <laughs> the Vita was even kind of dead in 2012. The Vita was kind of dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mark also, I doubt it will ever be as good as the first two. Well, what if they remake the first one or <laughs> the first two? Y'all all have phones, right? Yeah, man. We all have phones. Um, let's see here. We all have phones. Yo, what's up, bot? You said I'm, I'm watching you while you're at work. Shout outs, man. Don't get caught. What's a Vita? Everyone's asking, what's a Vita? Vita is this device here. Let me show you guys what a Vita is. Let me show you. I got one. Vita is this device right here. You guys ever seen it before? It's a nice little handheld device. This would look, I, I think I need to, I think I need to buy Monkey Ball on here. I think I kind of want to play Monkey Ball and do a video for you guys on Monkey Ball. On the Vita. Is, is the Vita one any good? We'll find out. I think I'm, I think I'm going to buy the Vita one. And then I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video on it. But I don't have any way to directly capture Vita footage. So it's going to be just like trailers or... No, not trailers. It's going to be like other person's footage or whatever. And I'll just talk about some of the stuff about the game. Because I don't have any way to capture direct feed footage. So maybe that's a good idea. Um, I just say two words. Monkey Target. Vita Essence. Gunslinger says, I believe Sega is trying to uh, course correct and bring back some favorites like Super Monkey Ball. Well, they did say that they want to do stuff like that, right? Invest in some of their older or classic IP. I think Monkey Ball would be great. I remember Jordan Fringe, I think maybe he went a little bit overboard, but Jordan was like, hey, man, if, they, if, if Monkey Ball would have launched on the Switch 
or like within the first couple months that it would be at like 10 million units sold i don't know if it'd be at that much but i think it'd be well over puyo puyo tetris which is at over 1 million on the switch by itself so i think it'd easily be at 2 to 3 million units sold if monkey ball came out and if it was good if we got a good new monkey ball game on the switch back when it when the switch was first you know out i think it would have sold really well uh 10 million easy all right, so that's the Fury Tiger with that. Hold on, let me get that little, little shimmy with the dog donation. He says, Liverpool, LOL. I think Robert just died on us, LOL, 4-0 Liverpool. Shout outs. Got some uh, football going on over there. Liverpool taking care of business, it seems like. <laughs> well, shout outs, Fairy Tiger. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hopefully, Robert's okay. Hopefully, Robert's okay. Uh, you guys are like Tom and Jerry. You guys be beating the crap out of each other a lot of times with your with your insults. You know what I'm saying? So shout outs. Shout outs to Fairy Tiger. Thank you so much for being uh, the first donation of the stream. And of course, you are the top stream ninja. We're going to go and get your name up here on the... On the leaderboard here. That dollar. Thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. Appreciate that. Um... Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, unhidden. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. It must have been an accident when Nero said. All right, cool. Yeah, because Nero's cool. Nero's cool. Uh, let's see here. Can you capture footage from Vita TV? I don't have my Vita. I don't know where my Vita TV is. When I moved, I lost it. Um, I think it fell underneath the moving truck, and I think I ran it over. And I think I looked back, and I was like, eh. And I just kept going. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what happened. I think I ran. I heard a like a crunch from something, and I was just like, huh? I was just like, I look back, and it was like a little black thing on the on the ground. I was just like, eh, man, it could have been anything. It could have been my Steam box. It could have been my Vita TV. I have no idea, but I just, I didn't feel like getting out of the U-Haul truck, and I was ready to get get the hell up out of there because I was moving from my um, my apartment complex to my house, to this house that I was in back in 2015, 2016, early 2015, 20, or late 2015 or early 2016. Early 2016, there you go, when I bought this house, early 2016. So, yeah, I was moving. I just said, ah, whatever. Yeah, poor Vita TV. It was either a Steam box or it was a Vita TV. It was one of those two. Um, anyway, I hope Sega gets it right on the next uh, next gen. I want a new Outrun, for example. Okay, new Outrun. Um, all right, take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming out, man. Um, Dragon Gamer says, "I think Super Monkey Ball is not is not come. They they want to keep it uh, keep they want to keep it green grass dirt." um that you know what that that barely makes sense but i think i know what you're saying um you don't think it's coming <laughs> they want to keep it dead you know buried in the dirt i think that's what you're trying to say uh jay says monkey ball hasn't been good since gamecube uh games anyway so even if they did come to switch i still wouldn't buy them but what if it was a good monkey ball game though uh i swear new monkey ball is ios and android only i'll be so mad dude jordan fringe were i mean we can we can go we can storm sega's headquarters like I banged, oh, bust open the door, kick down the door with Baron, and we get Baron to freaking stone cold stun them through RKO. Like Baron, get the tables. That's what we need to do, man. That's what we're gonna do to these people. That's what we gotta do to these people. <laughs> tell them to get the tables. <laughs> get Mandy to tell them off. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, let's see here. Um. You hear about the Super Monkey Ball fan game? No, I haven't heard about the Super Monkey Ball fan game. Devin Lambert, tell us about it. Um, if it was good, it would. Um, I would buy it. In a, you would butt it in a heartbeat. I think you meant buy it. But yeah, man. Uh, the, uh, let's see here. Um, then uh, then Mandy gets a Florida vacation. Bro, the Florida. Va I'm surprised. I'm surprised Sega isn't located in Florida, considering all the decisions, the crazy decisions they make. Um, Jay says Monkey Ball hasn't been. Okay, I already read that. Um, let's see here. Hi, all. I was playing Diablo and ran a bit late. Yo, it's all good, dude. Good to see you here. Dean is. What's up, my boy? Uh, Sonic R right now sounds so good. <laughs> they had a Sega, then Sega right now, bruh, 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 bruh. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta do this new Monkey Ball. There's gotta be a new Monkey Ball, and it's gotta come to Switch. If the new Monkey Ball game, game doesn't is not on the Nintendo Switch with HD Rumble, it's a failure. It doesn't matter what they bring it to. I don't care what systems. If there's not a Super Monkey Ball with HD Rumble. On the Nintendo Switch, I'm sorry. There, there's a problem. There's a problem because you need the HD rumble of the monkey ball. You need the HD rumble. You need the tilt and tumble and also regular controls. Even like regular controls with HD rumble. You need that portable play 
monkey ball go to your friend's house go to conventions i see jordan fringe at e3 he's like hey oj and i'm like hey jordan fringe i'm like you want to play some monkey ball he's like sure while we're waiting three hours in line to play the newest monkey ball game or to play the newest legend of zelda game then by the time that we get there e3 is already or by the time that we finish with playing that one demo for 10 minutes e3 is pretty much done because they're only open they're only open for like seven or eight hours during the day so i mean that's something that we need we need something to pass the time we need something to pass the time Marco says, the original creator of the series, Toshi, uh, is it Toshihiro Nagoshi, is still at Sega, but he moved on to the Yakuza. Oh, that guy's the original creator. Well, that means it's not going to be on, it, that means it's not going to be on the Switch, because that guy hates the Switch. Uh, Tetra fan 1000, I'm joking, but still. Uh, have you heard of Rolled Out? What's Rolled Out? Uh, they put on the Vita. Apparently, the Vita game's not very good, though. Apparently, the Vita game's, you guys are all saying that the Vita game is not very good. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see for this news here, guys um we're gonna have to wait and see for this news and i want to know what they're gonna do with this franchise like going forward i think that it needs to be switch and it needs to come out and it needs to have it needs to be good um i don't think it's really hard to make a good monkey ball game is it really that hard to make a good super monkey ball game um let's see here rolled out as a new type of monkey ball but but is it monkey ball though it's called rolled out and they have a trailer for it on indiegogo yeah that's an indie i want i want the actual monkey ball um, what's my favorite Super Monkey Ball game? The first two months. I'm not huge on Monkey Ball. I'll be honest. I'm not. I'm not huge on it. But I did like the first uh, two. I think like the GameCube game. I remember playing, renting that, and being, like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. I remember playing multiplayer with my friends too. Uh, back when I had friends, I remember playing multiplayer with them. Well, real life friends, actually, like that I go and hang out with. We played the GameCube back in the day when i was in high school. I was part of this really nerdy um, gaming club that I felt ashamed. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not proud that I felt ashamed back then to be part of this club and to hang out with these people. If I can go back, I would do it over again because obviously playing video games was not cool enough. And if you played video games, especially Nintendo games, you were not cool. But I, I kind of had like my regular crew where we played Halo, which was all the, the basketball players and the football, well, not even really the football players, but the basketball players. And then that was the cool, or at least not cool. Nobody else thought that we were cool, but we were, we were all athletes, so we got away with it. Um, but we all played Halo, and then we also had, then there was, like, the really nerdy crew, like, the really, like, the, the people that looked like nerds that weren't athletic that also knew me, and I, I'd, I'd hang out with them every now and then, and we would play, in, uh, on our lunch breaks, we would go in there and play Super Smash Brothers Melee, and we would play other stuff like that, so one time we were playing Monkey Ball in there, and I was just like, oh, cool, and then, like, my other friends, um, my, the basketball guys and all that came in, and they saw, like, oh, what are you playing these nerd games for, and I was just like, I was just like, I was, like, caught in a conundrum, because I was, like, part of both clicks the really nerdy unpopular kids then also the popular kids but i was only popular because i played football that was it not because anybody actually liked me too much um all right so fairy tiger donated a dollar and says just put monkey target in there and it's amazing all right there you go put monkey target in there yeah that's one of the mini games right so yeah absolutely you have to put monkey target back and i think that would be a good good idea so thank you fairy tiger i appreciate another dollar donation appreciate that still the top string ninja with the two dollars so i appreciate that my boy um have you played super monkey ball 3d where is super monkey ball 3d i might have um let's see here uh mark l says mark l says it was a uh, negoshi that made the stupid uh, statement it was another person at sega i thought it was i thought it was that guy i thought it was him the yakuza guy the guy that that looks like like a street punk the guy that wears like the, the kind of like the the weird like has like the buzz on the side and like hair in the middle Kind of reminds me of like some type of like uh, like River City Ransom Street Punk or something like that. That guy, right, with the chains. That that's the guy that you're talking about, right? Yeah, what's up, Cherry? Like, uh, what did you miss? Nah, we're just talking about Super Monkey Ball. Um, there's a new trademark for a Monkey Ball game called uh, Tabegoro, Tabegoro in Japan. So we're kind of speculating whether there's going to be a new Monkey Ball game. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, Super Monkey Ball on the Nintendo 3DS. No, nah, I didn't play that, man. I was done with Monkey Ball by that time. I was done. Super Monkey Ball 3D on 3DS. Okay. Yo, what's up, Jacob? How's it going, my man? Um, I was going to scream Super Monkey at my child. Bro, don't do that. You might get fired. Uh, Michael C. with the subscription. Thank you so much, Michael C. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Players. Everybody here in the chat, please welcome Michael C. to the village. Appreciate that um you have joined the elite ninja village we have high expectations of you Gannon. um all right let's princess lavini says game franchises that have been on hiatus glover okay yeah i heard you say that before we're, we're talking about uh monkey ball here though we're talking about monkey ball though um jay says my favorites are one and two they were so much fun monkey ball coming back gonna be on the 3ds bruh seriously sake it's gonna be like we have a new game for you 
Kickstarter. <laughs> through Kickstarter, through your contributions, you will get a new monkey ball on iOS and 3DS. Please enjoy. That's what they're going to do. I'm telling you, dude. Billy Hatcher? For the Switch, make a petition? Nah, I'm good, bro. Billy Hatcher looks stupid. <laughs> Billy Hatcher looks weird. I'm not... I mean, if they bring if they bring Billy Hatcher back, that's fine. But I'm not trying to roll around with the dude in the chicken suit rolling around big old eggs. I'm good. I played that when I was in high school. And I was like... like lock the door. Shut the windows. Make sure nobody's looking. All right, let me play this stupid game. Nah, Billy Hatcher's all right. But I wasn't like enthralled with it or anything. I just rented it. I thought it was okay. Um, let's see here. <laughs> it's okay if I get fired. I'm I'm tired of cleaning bathroom stalls. <laughs> this man on that on that uh, uh, on that yellow life. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! I want another night. I think another night's game would be dope, man. I'm surprised more people didn't buy the night's game on the Wii. That night, that game was actually. I mean, it wasn't as good as the original, but it was still good. It was still good. Um. Dragon Gamer says, sorry, my bad, uh, sorry, my bad, make, make, sense make, I actually going off topic, but I want Sky, Sky of Arcadia, Skies of Arcadia, gotcha, Knights would be dope, Super Monkey Ball would be dope, Sega needs to deep, dig deep into these franchises, bring them back, bring them back out, let them know, the fans want a Sega, listen to me, Sega, listen, 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 this system's dead, all right, this system's dead, you see guys, see this, see this nice Sonic PSP, Ice Blue, PSP, it's the coolest looking system out there. It's the coolest looking, it's probably the coolest looking portable ever made. It looks really cool. All right, but this system's dead. So Sega, let me tell you guys something. There's a system called the Nintendo Switch. You can play it with pro controllers like this Xenoblade Chronicles pristine condition pro controller that I've had since 2017 that actually looks really, really good. And I'm really happy about this controller and I use it all the time. So the force of Pyra, the soul of Pyra burns within me. So the Xenoblade controller, I can play it on my TV, I can stream it for you guys. We can play Monkey Ball. And then when I want to go to sleep, I can play it lying down in bed. So Sega, if you're listening to this, please, Sega, please, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of all of our hearts here at Player Essence of the Ninja Village, please make sure that you guys don't mess up this Monkey Ball game. If you guys are making a new Monkey Ball game, don't mess up this Monkey Ball game. For the Ninja Village, for everybody involved in this, do not mess up this Monkey Ball game. We need this Monkey Ball game to be good. We need it to be good. We need it to be good. Capcom is better than Sega right now. Right now, Capcom is better than Sega. Nobody is denying that Capcom is doing a better job than Sega right now at this point. But however, like I said, we're talking about Monkey Ball here. We're talking about Billy Hatcher. We're talking about Skies of Arcadia. We're talking about all these legendary franchises. If Sega just actually decided to use them, Sega could be good. Sega could be a lot better than what they are right now. That's all we're trying to say. Um... Hopefully Sega watches PE like Capcom does. I don't know if Capcom, oh, I don't know. Does Capcom watch PE? I don't know if Capcom watches PE. Um, I don't know if Capcom watches PE. Um, Pyra and Mithra are literally the same person, so. It uh, doesn't matter which one's better. They're literally the same person. Never owned a Vita, but I was never interested in it. Just didn't have enough games to justify buying it. Plus, I had the proprietary memory cards. Yeah, that's what sucks about the Vita. But it looks good. The only thing that I don't like is how small the thumbsticks are, but you need to make them this small in order for you to be able to play it. But playing sometimes playing 3D games was just kind of trash. But the system is actually a really good. It's a really good piece. Of, like, it's a really good device. It's a really good device. I like it. This doesn't have enough good games. Uh, yo, what's up, Dub City? Yeah, it's been a while. Where you, where you been, man? Where you been? Why'd you leave the Ninja Village for so long? Should I take away your headband? Uh, no, but good to see you here, man. Thanks for coming back out to the stream. Um, I want Nintendo to buy Sega so we can get a Sonic, a Sonic Maker game. But why do we need Nintendo to buy Sega to get a Sonic Maker game? Why can't Sega just make a Sonic Maker game? <laughs> There's no guarantee that Nintendo buying Sega would get that. And Nintendo's not going to buy Sega because Nintendo doesn't want to buy Sega. That'd be a pricey acquisition. That'd be ex extremely expensive to buy Sega because of all their IP. You know, Sega, their value of the, the value of Sega is a lot higher than what they actually make because it's just like any company, really. Nintendo, any of these companies, like, you can value their stocks at whatever they're at or whatever the case is, but buying Sega would not be an easy task because they have way too many IPs. It'd be a very, very, very large purchase, and Nintendo doesn't want to deal with that, so they're never going to buy Sega. Sonic and the Black Knight 2. Sonic and the Secret Rings 2. I really hated both of those games. That's the funny thing. 
work, bro. Bruh, come on now, man. All, all of us got work. You still got to show up. Still got to show up. No, I'm joking. Good to see you back. Uh, Marco says, we need Virtual Fighter 6. Fighting games are bigger than ever nowadays. Uh, they're, they're not really. But um, <laughs> a new Virtual Fighter would be huge. No, actually, fighting games are nowhere near as popular as they used to be. Um, uh, they, they're more visible because of tur the tournament scene. So you see it more. But in terms of sales, no. Nah, fighting games are actually a lot worse than, wh than what they were before. Tekken, um, Street Fighter... Um, all those games sell nowhere near as much as fighting games used to sell back in the past. Uh, but we do have a lot more visibility for fighting games today um, than what we did before. Uh, go give me, Yo, shout outs, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, think about it. Dragon Ball Fighters is Dragon Ball Z, a really good fighting game, has all sorts of promotion and publicity. And I think it sold like 4.4 million on like all the different systems combined. Tekken sold like double that like on the ps1 by itself like tekken 3 <laughs> you know what i'm saying like tekken games would sell pretty much the same amount on one system by itself just just the playstation or just like the ps1 so think about that for a second um let's see here uh what's up mark t how's it going good to see you here uh what's the coolest portable in the blue um is the blue fire emblem awakening 3ds yeah that, that that's a pretty nice portable too um hey what's up charity scott good to see you here uh, the last good Sonic game made by Sega was Sonic CD. Uh, made by well, I mean, are you gonna count? Are you gonna count Sonic Mania? Because Sonic Mania was pretty good, based on what I've been hearing, based on the little bit that I've played. Sonic Mania is pretty good. Sonic R two, uh, but Smash sold thirteen million. But that's Smash. Smash has always sold well. You're talking about the fighting games are back, but you literally name one game. You name Smash that sold a lot. That sold 10, 10 million plus. What else? Any other fighting games sold 10 million? Any other fighting games sold like 6 or 7 million recently? Outside of like maybe like Mortal Kombat? I mean, that's the only game that I can think of or maybe like the original Injustice or Mortal Kombat. There's not many games that do really, really well. Whereas like you see all these shooting games, you see all these sports games. Doing all this. I just don't think fighting games are like back bigger than ever. I think the fighting game, the fighting game sales were still better back in the day than they were now. I mean, Smash obviously is a different type of beast. But in terms of, in general, how fighting games sold, how Street... I mean, like, look at Street Fighter. Look at Street Fighter and Tekken. Those games sold way better back in the day than they sell now. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Jacob, what's up, man? Uh, how is MK doing? MK? Who's that? Meta Knight? Mortal Kombat? How's Mortal Kombat doing? <laughs> How's Meta Knight doing? Meta Knight's doing pretty good. He's, 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 he's balanced. He's not broken like he was in Brawl. No, uh, MK's, MK's doing good. It's, it's selling well. It's selling well. I just don't think that... Fighting games are definitely here. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. They're here, but they're not quite... I mean, I'd like to see more fighting games do better than what they do. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I can see... You know, to be honest, I don't think your statement was wrong, Markel. I don't think your statement was completely wrong. Mm <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, all right, so we move on to the next topic here. Uh, you got your raincoat umbrella ready because the weather forecast for E3 looks considerably stormy. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, let's do it. Um, let's. <laughs> all right, so let's go to move on to the next topic here, guys. Um, you want a new virtual fighter? Yeah, hopefully we'll get virtual fighter at some point. Um, yo, what's up, Omega Row? Uh, Omega Row, hold on to random questions towards the end. And we'll talk about, uh, the, well, actually, that's not a random question because I guess it was on Sega. Um, Sonic the Hedge, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog on the PS2. I played that on the GameCube and it sucked. Um, all right, so moving on to the next topic here. Uh, we've got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So there is a brand new uh, cover story. Or, well, there's going to be a bunch of information leading up to the release of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. All this month, uh, Game Informer is doing uh, some cool stuff with Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I posted it on my Twitter page. Um, so I'll go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and get that right here. Um, so it's pretty cool. All right. So wait, hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I just, ah, oh man, I just saw a topic on it right here. No, and it then it disappeared. All right. Where's Gematsu? Where's Gematsu? All right, let's find it. All right, here we go. Okay. And away we go. All right. So we back here to my favorite website, Gamatsu. Make sure you guys check out Gamatsu for all your Japanese gaming news, comprehensive Japanese coverage. <laughs> when you're not watching my channel, that is. 
Um, so, Marvel Ultimate Alliance through the Black Order, uh, the Team Ninja developed superhero sequel published by Nintendo. The superhero developed Team Ninja developed superhero sequel <laughs> published by that's some that's some great writing, isn't it? Um, is Game Informer's June 2019 cover story. The magazine announced. Here is Game, Game Informer's overview of the magazine cover. Um, more than a decade ago, the X-Men Legends and Marvel Ultimate Alliance games lit up our gaming screens, fulfilling the fantasies of comic book fans everywhere. With a chance to build our own superhero teams and beat down the bad guys in... What, is it rollicking? The hell is that? Rollicking? Rollick, rollicking? Who uses that? Rollicking action? Like, this is where I got the, the, the thesaurus on deck? What is that? I've never heard of that word before. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just not as seasoned in writing. Rollicking action RPG. That wasn't Gamatsu. That was that was this is Game Informer. So this is a quotation, okay guys? So this isn't this isn't Gamatsu right. This is Game Informer's words right here. Action RPG adventures. Then <laughs> then like they were snapped out of existence, like the series disappeared. Now, an unexpected partnership between Marvel Games, Nintendo, and Koei Tecmo slash Team Ninja is bringing Ultimate Alliance back to life. The new Switch exclusive releases on July 19th, one week before Fire Emblem Three Houses. And we are and we have the opportunity to visit Nintendo's North American headquarters and experience the game for ourselves. We got exclusive hands-on on access with a bevy of heroes, saw some brand new playable characters, and spoke with all the involved teams about how this unlikely team up came to be. If you're riding high on the Marvel excitement train the way uh, the way we are, you won't want to miss our exclusive look at the game which headlines the new june issue of game informer so freaking crazy crazy stuff there look at this oh in addition to the magazine cover game informer will have a month exclusive online content its first story exclusive reveal of hawkeye and miss marvel all right well there you go and here is their hold up let's go to their actually what this say hold up let's go to say okay there we go Month at GameInformer.com, we're celebrating the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy and the X Men, Spider Verse, Defenders, and I guess the Inhumans. With our new cover story on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order, we flew out to Nintendo to play hours of the game, and we're sharing our exclusive hands on impressions, character deep dives, and plenty of new gameplay. We interviewed folks from Marvel and developers from Team Ninja to learn about how the beloved action RPG series came back from the brink and why it's now an gameplay. Gameplay, you guys can't see it, but gameplay not final. It says it right there, so just keep that in mind. Nintendo exclusive. So join us all month long as we roll out exclusive features celebrating the past and future of Marvel games. <laughs> she'll, only be, she'll only be one. Snap. Shout out, Miller. We like snapping. All right, well, there you go, guys. There you go. Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh... Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 coming this July. Um, we got some new subscriptions, so let's go ahead and get through the, these subscriptions. We've got some new Genin joining the village. Um, all right, so Gamer Dumas as well. What's good, Gamer Dumas? Thank you so much for joining the Elite Ninja Village. Appreciate you. Also, William Jones as well, joining the Elite Ninja Village. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Welcome, guys. Welcome, new Genin. And uh, we have high expectations of all of you guys, so thank you so much for joining. Appreciate that. Don't be, don't be a stranger. Give us a hi in the chat here. Um, all right, all I want is Gambit. I'm not sure if Gambit's coming. Just because of Inhumans. Um, <clears throat> uh, hold on to random... Bah, hold on to random questions, my boy. Uh, VC says, um, we're talking about Marvel Ultimate Alliance, my man. We're talking about Marvel Ultimate Alliance. This isn't you ask me anything and I answer all of your personal all personal questions, my boy. Well, like I said, or you drop a donation and put your question and I'll answer it for you. But if not, wait till the Q&A section, my man. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a two-hour show. You'll get plenty of time for your questions. Um, I believe this spread helps convey that the game Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 being exclusive on the Switch is really a big deal. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. This is a big deal, dude. I told you guys this was a big deal. Like, I, if you saw my original reaction to this during the, the Game Awards, I was like, bro, like, this is... I freaking got up out of my seat and walked around and was, like, clapping. Like, dude, I was so hyped for this announcement. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. VC's spamming the same messages. Um, right here. All I want is Gambit. All right, gotcha. All you want is Gambit. I want Rogue. You guys are all you guys want is Rogue. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So, what do you guys think about this? Uh, what's your favorite action uh, or faction 
X-Men, Avengers, or Guardians? Oh, X-Men. For sure, X-Men. I want Gambit. I like Wolverine. I like, like, I like the X-Men. I think X-Men are just so cool. Like, the mutant powers are just awesome. Because I think that most of the mutants aren't OP. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of the mutants are OP, but a lot of them aren't OP, and they just have, like, one skill that they do, and they have to work with that skill, you know? But I like Cyclops. I like, I like Rogue. I like... I just like X Men. X Men is just dope. It's just a, it's just a dope franchise, and it's just like a dope like powers and all that. Like I really like them. So yeah. Oh, Nightcrawler is my favorite. When I was a kid, Nightcrawler was my favorite. Gambit and Nightcrawler were my favorites. My brother loved Gambit, and so then I liked Gambit because anything my brother liked, I liked. But my favorite, personally, me was Nightcrawler because I just liked how he like just like disappear and like teleport and like slither around like sneaky stealth. Like he just he was just like freaking dope, man. Um, he was just he was he was dope um all right yeah man he's yeah definitely he's got to be he's got to be banned <laughs> um he's got to be banned thank you man thank you for the thank you for the uh thanks for coming out to the stream though i appreciate it i appreciate you being here positivity positivity today so thank you for the thank you for the stream uh thank you for the view i appreciate that homie now you can just watch in silence watch in silence um <laughs> you're done yeah <laughs> you're done i'm not worried about losers uh thank you though thank you for coming out to the stream though man i appreciate it just now you can just shut the hell up and watch watch okay all right so moving on um let's see nah it's right here on youtube bro. right here on youtube uh hunter um let's see here yeah i agree it was very cool hopefully it sells very well in a long time um i think this game's gonna sell extremely well i think marvel ultimate alliance is a one million easy hands down because of the avengers right you have the movie the avengers um, you just have a lot of like Marvel hype this summer, right? And people are going to go out there and like, they're going to want like an Avengers game, right? They're going to want to play as Iron Man. You're going to want to play as like, when you see this game, because this game was relevant like a long time ago. A lot of you guys were kids. A lot of you guys were little kids when these games were relevant. A lot of you guys weren't old enough to remember these games like I remember them, you know, because these games came out when I was in high school, you know? So I remember them. But if you're if, if you're in your early 20s or if you're in your teens, you don't remember these games. Some of these games came out before you, some of you guys were even born. You know, so the fact that um, we got these games back and Nintendo was bringing back this franchise with Marvel is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, dude. Absolutely amazing. Um, never played them. They're really good, Hunter. They're really good. I mean, they're action RPGs. They're action RPGs where you basically build up your own custom superhero. Or not custom, but you can... Well, it is kind of custom. But, like, let's say this. You have different skills that you have, right? And then you have skill points that you get from... Just like an RPG, right? And then you get those skill points and then you invest it into certain skills. Like, let's just say, like, Berserker Barrage, right? And then you can invest it more into upgrading your Berserker Barrage. Or you can invest it into different types of attacks that you have. Now, based on what attacks that you do, they really pair up well with other people. For example, like Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man, you can web sling and like put people like in a like in like a web like a web like trap, right? And then you can do like the berserker barrage on people right there. Or even like uh, there's ones where Spider-Man just kind of like goes crazy and like shoots like all over the place and just like traps a bunch of people. And then like you throw Captain America's shield and it starts bouncing around and starts hitting everybody. So stuff like that is like really cool where you can team up and kind of. Uh, put together your superpowers some superheroes work really well with other superheroes so it's really fun to really uh, mix and match and play the game multiple times uh there's side quest there's um leveling there's complete leveling in the game there's just all sorts it's just a it's all multiplayer it's drop in drop out no bs no fluff no like okay we have to go over here and do this like you just press the start button or you just press join in just like a like an arcade cabinet right it's just like an arcade cabinet back in the day um, and bam, you just hop right in, pick your character that you want to pick, hop right into the mission, drop in, drop out, co-op, nice, simple, and easy, man, it was great, it was fantastic, it was fantastic stuff, so, isn't it basically Diablo with Marvel characters, yeah, it's basically Diablo with Marvel characters, yeah, very, very similar to Diablo with Marvel characters, but it's just done differently, though, it's just done a little bit differently, because, um, at least with Diablo, when Diablo first came, or even like Diablo 3, for example, when that game first came out, it didn't have anywhere near as many characters as like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. So this game has like a lot more. But I mean, I feel that it's similar, but at the same time, it's just so different. I've always had a lot more fun with Marvel Ultimate Alliance or like the X-Men Legends games, maybe because it was X-Men and it was characters like that compared to like Monk or, you know, Wizard or whatever the case is that Diablo does, right? So yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, hey, say, OJ, I'm one of those people who are in their early 20s who played Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 on the PS2. I wish I could have played them on an HD system, but didn't have the money at the time. Well, yeah, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is on the PS4 and Xbox One. So, 
And it's on the Xbox 360 and PS3 too. So, so yeah, you can definitely play it now. And if you guys want to kind of get into it and see what the game is about before it launches, heck, I might, I might do that. I might, I might play it on my Xbox One. I think there's backwards compatibility, I think. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Yellow Kazoo. Yo, what's up, the Yellow Kazoo? How's it going today? Good to see you here. Um, let's see. You need to play the old ones to get an idea if this game works. Uh, works. Not everyone will like it, but play the old ones first. Well, I would just say look at the gameplay, you know. Um, um, look at the gameplay. If the gameplay looks good to you, um, then make sure that then, then check out the game, you know, as long as the gameplay looks good to you. So, so absolutely. All right. So do you guys have questions? Um, if you guys have questions, I've got answers for you. Go ahead and tag me at PlayerSense or hashtag PlayerSense. Any questions on Marvel Ultimate Alliance? I'll be more than happy to answer those guys. All right. And then we're going to get into random Q&A after that. All right, so Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is going to have online co-op. Yeah, they've already announced that online co-op, online and offline co-op, for up to four players. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Gordon says, small, small PayPal donation incoming. Uh, well, PayPal doesn't pop up, so if you already did it, um, if you use Streamlabs, it pops up. If you use PayPal, it doesn't pop up, and I can't get it to pop up. So let me know if, if it ever does go through so I can give you a proper shout-out, my boy. Um, I'll check. I don't want to not give you a shot of if you did donate something, dude. Um, <clears throat> boom. All right. Let's see here. Mensa Boteng says, do you think uh, Fantastic Four will be there? Fantastic Four? I don't think so. They haven't showed the Fantastic Four yet. So I don't know if Fantastic Four is going to be there. When was the last time they had, a, they had a movie? Oh, never mind. I did see it. I did see it. I saw it right here. Thank you, um... Thank you, uh, Gordon Edgar, with the um, with the five uh, five British pounds, five British pounds, Gordon Edgar. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Um, which actually translates out to six dollars and thirty eight cents. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, and that does make you the top stream ninja, man. So I appreciate it. It just if it's PayPal, then it, it doesn't pop up in stream. Like you got to use Streamlabs to get the actual pop up. So um, thank you, man. I appreciate that. And um, you are the top stream ninja with that uh, six dollars and thirty eight cents donation. So that that's a shimmy. Is that a, that that's a, that's a that's a shimmy. That's a, that, that's a little bit of a shimmy. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little 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 shim shim. Um. All right. So let me go ahead and get you up here on the leaderboard, my dude. Um. Did you have a music request? First time I think I, the first time I think I've put six dollars and thirty eight cents on here, but it's great British pounds, so I think I appreciate that, man. Yo, what's up, O Nasty? How's it going, my man? My day's going good. How are you doing? Um, Dave Gaming says, based on your Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, is this going to be a newer ending, a, a never ending game, or after you play, uh, after you play story, will the game be done? Um, they could add some end game stuff, but I'm not really sure. No pun intended. Um, but they could they could add some stuff at the very I mean but I'm I'm not sure. Usually the replay value in this game is kind of going through and making sure you do all the side quests, making sure that uh, like you level up with different characters. That's kind of like what the replay value kind of comes into play. But we'll see what they do with this one. I'm not really sure. Um, anything from Blaster Master Zero Two would be uh, music. All right, anything from Blaster Master Zero Two? Absolutely, we'll go we'll go in and get that music going for you guys right away. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for being the top stream ninja as well. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so if you guys go through PayPal, let me know because PayPal doesn't pop up. Streamlabs pops up, PayPal doesn't. So let me know and I'll make sure to give you guys a proper shout out and everything. And if you guys want a music request, I'll get it for you. Um, all right, Blaster Master. All right. Let me know how it sounds not at this point, guys, okay? They could add some DLC characters if they don't make the final roster. They could. They could, absolutely. Um, watch the Google live stream. It was a extremely long day. All right, well, good to kick back, relax, and enjoy the live stream. Sounds good? All right. Is it too loud or does it sound good? Which one? Sounds good? Okay. Volume is good now. All right. Sorry, OJ, I have to run errands. We'll be back to watch it. All right, take it easy, Joe. Um, we are going to stream. We're going to be streaming for a bit more because we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, um, so yeah. Any other questions on this one here, guys? 
Uh, real quick, guys, if you do want to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because we are adjoining this stream with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in about one hour or so, um, after we get through random questions. Um, so if you do want to play, make sure you uh, member up, either Tier 2 up on Patreon, or also um, our YouTube member, and that can get you into our little Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, gameplay session that we're going to have after this stream. Alright, so let's keep it moving here. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, random questions now, we're going to go ahead and move into random Q&A. If you guys have any questions based on video gaming, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, I'll be more than happy to random your question, uh, answer your more than happy to answer your random questions. Uh, do I remember you? Yeah, I do remember you, Incineroar. I remember that name, Incineroar. How are you doing today, man? Good to see you here. It would be awesome if they threw in some Nintendo cameos. You know, the original, I think Marvel Ultimate Alliance was supposed to have maybe Samus, Samus or Link in the game. So maybe there's something there. Who's my fave? Fave in what? Yo, what's up, Solomon? Solomon says, if they remove Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 HD releases from PS4, oh, they remove them. Okay, well, you can still buy them on the 360, though, on PS3. Who's my favorite fire? Who's your favorite fire emblem? My favorite fire emblem game, my favorite fire emblem character. Um, let me know, which one are you talking about? What, what fire? What about fire emblem? Um, if you could make any Pokemon type combination, what would it be? Um, any Pokemon type combination? I don't know, I think every type is pretty much done, but I think, like, Fire and uh, I, fire and um, whatever, like fire and dark or fire and fire and something is always pretty cool whenever they do the dual types with fire. Um, TD says, if you want to be a superhero like the Marvel characters, who would you want to be? Um, a superhero like the Marvel characters? Obviously, Black Panther is amazing. So, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Um, or even like, um, I know this is like X by Gambit. Gambit's cool being able to like to heat up chart and throw cards. That's cool. Um, so Gambit's cool, um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Iron Man's dope too. Um, let's see here. Uh, T Lord with the subscription. Thank you so much, T Lord. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village. Everybody here in the chat, please welcome T Lord to the village. Um, yeah, Venom. Yeah, probably Venom. Venom, Spider Man, or Black Panther. One of those three. Venom's dope too. I, I love Venom. Venom's like one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Black Panther and Venom are my, are my favorites. Like I like Spider Man and I like. I like Spider-Man, I like Venom, and I like Black Panther. Those are like my favorite Marvel stuff, characters and movies, all that stuff. So, yeah. OJ would, would be Scarlet Witch? Nah. Nah, man. Venom. We are Venom. Um, let's see here. Uh, Matthew Bings, what's good, man? Uh, what's good? Um, Aiden Quinn with the $5 donation with that shimmy. And he says, finally, uh, finally, a playable Ms. Marvel. Her being playable finally solidified my purchase. Play some God Eater 3 Nemesis theme. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Aiden Quinn. I appreciate the $5 donation. I really do. Thank you so much. And also, Fairy Tiger donated a dollar right after that. It says, Robert's alive. Robert, you're alive. <laughs> You know what the funniest thing is? I was thinking because I was just looking at my sir. I, I I just realized I put two and two together. That that a weirdo troll that came in here. He called me a he called me a a furry because I was wearing a Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. <laughs> I didn't know why he called me a furry. I wasn't computing. Then I was like, wait a minute. It's because I'm wearing a Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. <laughs> all right. So let's see here. Um. All right. All right. Take it easy, Mark T. Thanks for coming out to the stream, my boy. Um. God Eater three. God Eater 3, and boom, 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 Nemesis. I think we're going to have to go with the instrumental on this one, because Bandai Namco is kind of crazy. Well, there might not be an instrumental, so we'll just have to... Yeah, this is going to be copyrighted by Bandai Namco. I just know that they 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 do this a lot. So uh, we're gonna play something else. But Bandai Namco is kind of gets nuts with these copyrights. Um, so we're just gonna do we're gonna do a different song from the same game. Something that doesn't have lyrics, because like I said, sorry about that. But Bandai Namco just goes crazy. Um, Let's see here. Mine are Daredevil, Iron Fist, Star Lord, and Hulk. Okay. Uh, what what was the what was the footage from DMC video? Your gameplay? Midas Megazone? No, no. 
I just use whatever. Whenever I'm talking about a video video game, I just use whatever footage. I just use random footage of people playing. Fair use, fair use footage. Um, so no. What does it matter? It's what it's all all that all that matters is what I'm talking about. Um, but there'll be times where I do mix in my gameplay, but I don't say it's my gameplay or anything. It's, it's just gameplay. It's like sometimes I use trailers, sometimes I just use regular gameplay footage. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, Let's see, you're a child of the 90s, how can you not choose Wolverine? I like Wolverine, he's good, but I mean, if I'm a child of the 90s, Spider-Man was popular in the 90s too, so was Venom. And I mean, Black Panther wasn't as popular, but Black Panther's dope though. Um, yeah, hey, we are playing Mario Kart tonight, we am, so join in, dude. OJ a furry? I know, I am not anywhere near a furry, but if you wear a Sonic shirt, apparently you're a furry. Apparently you're a, fur you're a furry. Um... You guys are stole that stupid what the best Spider-Man is. Who cares? Um, let me know how it sounds, guys. Does it sound okay? I just love Dora. <laughs> Dude, Dora's dope, man. Dora's like, it's a good show. It's a good show. Uh, a flesh. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound right, Yokozu. Uh, so, what's your favorite and least favorite Pokemon? Uh, my favorite Pokemon is Greninja. My least favorite Pokemon is probably like a stupid Pokemon. I don't know what Pokemon, like, the dumb-looking Pokemon, like, um, I don't know, like, like, Bidoof, he's a pretty stupid-looking Pokemon. Um, let's see here, uh, who's excited for, I'm extremely excited for Fire Emblem Three Houses, I had a video on it the other day, did you see that video? Uh, did you see that video, um, on my Fire Emblem? I have another Fire Emblem video coming tomorrow morning, the video's actually already done. I just have to upload it to YouTube and all of that good stuff and tag it and all that. But yeah, it's actually already done, ready to go. So I'm excited about, I'm really excited about that. Bergamite, okay, your least favorite Pokemon is Bergamite. All right, Bergamite, Bergamite. <laughs> that Pokemon, is he, is he silly looking? Garbodor is pretty dumb too. Okay, my favorite my favorite Pokemon is a mystery. All right, well, it's favorite Pokemon's a mystery. No, but I'm excited. So, so still can't wait to buy the season pass. Well, wait a minute. There is no season pass for Fire Emblem yet. We haven't announced that. So we gotta wait on that one. But watch my video. Wait a minute. Oh, nasty. Are you subscribed to the channel? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out here reading off your comments. You know, you gotta be subscribed. That's part of the thing with the Ninja Village. If the Hoka if you speak to the Hokage. You got you to be subscribed. I haven't seen that name in here. Um, yes, I am. Okay, never mind. Welcome. <laughs> Thank Meme says, uh, Bidoof is the best right now. Uh, it, Bidoof is, is best right now. Right? L-M-A-O. No. Um, let's see here. Uh, sorry, I just got, just got in. But did you talk about the Super Monkey Ball news? I did already talk about the Super Monkey Ball news. Basically, Sega trademarked a Super Monkey Ball. Well, they trademarked a name. Which is called like ripe super monkey ball basically or good to eat super monkey ball uh, but it's just a trademark we have to wait and see if there's actually anything coming we talked about it needing to be on the on the switch but the last one i guess came on the ps vita and then there was like one on the ios and android and like and then they removed it so so yeah favorite pokemon is infernape infernape's a dope pokemon infernape's dope i like him i picked him as my first starter pokemon in um I think Diamond and Pearl, right? Where Infinite was the first one. So, yeah. Yo, J2 Blue, Sexy Jutsu Originator, says, you think we'll get any info on Digimon Survive anytime soon? Yeah, they said that um summer, there's going to be more info coming on Digimon Survive this summer. My most hated Pokemon in this, uh, is the whole, is it Kling? Kling Link? Kling Link Evolution is like the keys, right? Infinite is overrated. He's, he's a good Pokemon. But yeah, he has a lot of weaknesses, though. But he's a good, I think he's cool. He's fast and he can... Learn some good moves. Mock punch you. <laughs> Always goes first, dude. Um, Always goes first. All right. So let's see if there's any actual other news going on. Hey, make sure you guys hit the like button on the stream and also share the retweet of the stream on Twitter if you're on Twitter. No, not the keys. Clink, clink. I don't even remember. Kef, kef, kef. Actually, look, I don't even know all the different Pokemon and all that. I've forgotten all of them. So... I've forgotten all of them. 
or I don't even know the names of all of them. Even like in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I forget some of the names of the Pokemon. After the fifth, after the fourth generation, I just kind of forgot stuff. So like, I don't remember all the names of all the Pokemon because there's just so many Pokemon. There's just so many Pokemon and so many different things. It's just like, ugh, there's just a lot. Um, Gordon says, uh, do you think Nintendo and Microsoft might do any joint announcements at E3 this year? Um, I don't know about any joint announcements, but there might be some type of like announcement from Microsoft's studios like a microsoft game for the nintendo switch so that could be but i don't know about any like together they're on stage or anything like that is ghost trick a pokemon well there are ghost pokemon there is like uh like uh, there's a lot of ghost pokemon there's, there's a lantern there's like a ghost lantern pokemon that's in pokemon tournament um let's see here hey oj did you hear that dmc is digital only yeah i already did hear that it's digital only which once again it's kind of like if they're only going to be doing one game and it's going to be a small fall size, you know, they're going to go cheap with it. So they're just going to go digitally. But yeah, I heard. So you buy it. If, if you want to buy it, you buy it. If you don't want to buy it, you don't buy it. But pretty simple. <clears throat> um, Infinite wasn't overrated in competitive Gen 4. Late game Infinite was stupid. All right. There you go. Dig Meme thinks he's overrated. He doesn't. Remember the game? I remember the game. Ghost Trick? Yes, absolutely remember the game. Absolutely. You always talk about it every single time. Who's the strongest Pokemon? I don't know who the strongest Pokemon is. Probably some type of legendary Pokemon or like a Pokemon like, um, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Greninja's really good. Greninja's super good. Uh, there's a lot of really good Pokemon out there. Um, what was it? Garchomp. Garchomp's a really good Pokemon. Um, so, yeah. I've uh, got some new subscriptions here. Transcend History is, and also Jetman340 with the subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player S. Everybody here in the chat, please welcome the brand new Genin to the village. Appreciate that, guys. Hopefully, don't feel shy if you're here in the chat. Go ahead and uh, ask a question. We're in random Q&A section. So if you want to ask me a question, tag me at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence. And I really want some Wendy's chili. I just, I just kind of, something kind of just popped up. But I, I'm going to get it after my Mario Kart stream. After the Mario Kart stream. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see here because we need we need to remake pn03 the gamecube game Woo! i don't know that game wasn't that good but yeah maybe if you remake it and make it good that'd be great um j2 boost says most of the cute pokemon are my favorite like eevee or any of the um the canine po like pokemon oh yeah oh no my favorite pokemon is arcanine my favorite my all-time favorite pokemon is arcanine arcanine is my all-time favorite pokemon followed by greninja but arcanine is my favorite i love arcanine absolutely love arcanine um, the Yellow Kazoo says, my question is still Ghost Trick 2 for the Switch when? I don't know when. I don't know when if it's ever going to happen. Ghost Trick is one of those franchises that is just not as popular as, you know, as as you would like it to be. But we'll see if a Ghost Trick ever comes out. Sorry, excuse me. We'll see if a Ghost Trick ever comes. I don't know if it will, though. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to call one of my contacts. And I'll, I'm, I'm going to ask him if there's like a Ghost Trick, if Ghost Trick is coming. Um, so um, let me ask him. Let me give him a call. Hey, Capcom. Yeah, what's up? Is Ghost Trick coming to the Switch? You can't tell me? Are you sure? I'm streaming live. Hello? Hello? He hung up on me when he heard out that I was streaming live. Looks like Ghost Trick isn't coming. I don't know. It's not coming. Uh, who's your favorite uh, Pokemon protagonist and antagonist? Um, favorite Pokemon um, protagonist? Um, probably like Gary Oak. But isn't he like an antagonist too? He's like both? I guess he's like an antagonist. So Gary Oak for antagonist. In terms of protagonist, I don't have any favorite protagonists. Like when it comes, maybe Brock? I don't know. But I don't really have a lot of favorite. I'm not a big fan of like the Pokemon characters. Like, I like the original Pokemon, like, the original Pokemon, and I like Pokemon Johto. Those are the two. After that, I stopped watching. There's a whole new place to be Pokemon Johto. <laughs> With a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. And be the best that you can be. Yeah, Pokemon Johto. That was my jam back in the day, dude. 
Um, that was my jam. Yeah, I'm just not into really the, like the Pokemon animes. I've tried to watch them. Like I tried to watch Diamond and Pearl. I tried to watch like Sun and Moon. Like me and my daughter, we would try to watch every now and then, and she got kind of bored of it. And like I didn't really watch either. So it's just like it just wasn't it wasn't it. I, that ain't it, Chief, for me at least. But I do like the original Pokemon and the Pokemon Johto. Um, let's see here. Did I ever watch? The, I did watch the Zelda cartoon as a kid. Um, that Zelda cartoon was shoved in our faces. If you're if you're an early '90s boy or girl. That Zelda cartoon was literally shoved in your face during the Mario show. They're like, oh, now let's find out what's next on the, on the Zelda show. You know, that's what Mario would say. And then they would just, they would constantly promote that damn Zelda show. On the good show, the Mario Bros. show. So the Mario Bros. show was the good show when I was a kid, right? The Mario 3 show where they had like the live action mixed in with the cartoon. That was the good show. And then they would always promo that Zelda show just like every single time. So you were you were like compelled to watch it right because like they were promoing it but it, it was trash remember that we both thought it was trash uh whenever we watched it but we're like man this show kind of sucks dude link is an idiot like link is such a sissy excuse me zelda let me get a kiss zelda oh it's kissing time zelda oh I, like he was just so like he's just like first of all he's like, he's like a pervert second of all he was just like he had like a little short sword and like he wasn't even cool like this dude was lame oh man he was so lame like, well, excuse me. I mean, it was lame back then. Like, it's really cheesy now. It was cheesy and lame back then when I was a kid. I thought it was cheesy and lame. Like, nobody liked that Zelda show when I was a kid. Nobody. Everybody said the Zelda show was trash. Like, there was probably some weirdos that liked that Zelda show. I mean, I remember one time we got into an argument with the kid that said that, yeah, I got into an argument with the kid because he said that the Zelda show was better than the Mario Bros. show. I'm all ready to slap this dude with a rupee right in his face. Like, how can you sit here and tell me, for real, for with the honest face, that the Zelda show was better than the Mario Bros. show. You're crazy. Absolutely nuts. Um, saw your model soft vid. Do you think they might work with Bandai on a Dragon Ball on something again? I mean, I think they can work with Bandai on something again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yes, I've seen I've I've seen the Sun and Moon anime. I, I don't really like it that much, guys. <laughs> Let's see here. Hit the kid over the head with the master sword, bro. He needed to be. He needed to be. That man needed to be bent, burned with some Din's fire um i'll tell you straight i love that show why why let me let me let me let me let me think did you m williams did you drink milk and watch that show at the same time i think that's really what 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 kids did i think the kids that liked that show literally had milk mustaches and drank that a million different times i mean like i mean come on man uh wait hold up you know you don't gotta ban him for saying it was an awesome cartoon no, no, hold up. No, 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 no. You didn't have to type him out for that, dank meme. You didn't have to type him out for that. He was just joking. He's obviously just joking. So, wait, no, there's nothing wrong with that. He's obviously just joking with me. So, he's, he's not trying to be rude or anything. So, you didn't have to type him out for that. Sorry, Zero4021. Sorry about that. Dank meme got a little aggressive on the timeout. Uh, but, no, he said, well, excuse me, player essence. <laughs> dank meme said, we, we ain't having none of this. We ain't having none of this BS with this show um no it's all good he'll be back zero you'll be back sorry about that my boy um dank meme hates that show i'm guessing dank meme really hates that show as well um v is it vampire says it's the best show what do you mean bruh bruh um that show made me think i could drink straight from the uh, from, from the from the tits <laughs> that's what you have to in, in order for you to like that show you were drinking you were drinking unpasteurized milk you know what I'm saying? That you were drinking straight up from the farm. That show is trash. Excuse me, princess. Princess, excuse me. Excuse. You should watch the montages on the excuse me montages. The Mario Bros. show was so much. You know what the Mario Bros. show was amazing? Because it was witty. The humor was good. Like, it was just like Toad had that attitude. You know what I'm saying? Toad wasn't just this punk. Toad had that attitude. Princess Peach had that a little bit of that attitude too. Mario was very like Mario acted just like you think Mario would act. Luigi acted just like you thought they would act. The 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 sound effects, the themes from Mario three were all in the show. It looked like the it looked like the game. It felt like the game when you were watching that show. The, the, the cartoon show, not the, the Mario Bros. In the, in the apartment. That was just like the comedy segments or whatever where they'd bring in like athletes and like they'd bring in all these different athletes and, and uh, what was it? And like movie stars and, and like TV stars and celebrities just to kind of, you know, make the show more popular, which it did. Like, you know, they bring in, I think they even brought in like Larry Johnson back in the day. Like they brought in all sorts of people. Um, but, um, but yeah, yeah. It's interesting watching that show and seeing who was popular back then compared to who are the celebrities now. But um, but yeah, it was great, man. That show was awesome. 
Um, let's see. Who needs Simmons when you have PE movie every day? Let's go. Let go. Let's go. Um, let's see here. The Zelda show was uh, was fire, like Turbo Team. See, I don't even know what that is. Um, I watched a few short. Uh, I watched a few shows as a kid, and that was the uh, that and that was one. So I have fondness of and appreciated today. Which one are you talking about, Karen? You talking about Zelda or you talking about Mario? Uh, PE Live is the best show. Let's go. Rasta Life Reggae says, I just uh, just got here. What did I miss? You kind of missed everything. Um, if you want, you can rewind the stream. But yeah, there's a new trademark for a monkey ball game. So we could be getting a new monkey ball game at some point. But I mean, I can't talk about everything and recap everything. But that's basically the, the basic fast, fast recap of it. But you can rewind if you want to hear all my theatrics with the whole monkey ball stuff. Because it was kind of funny. Um, let's see. Important question, though. Are you streaming State of Play? Yeah, I am streaming State of Play. Um, I will be streaming State of Play this, I think it's Thursday at 3 p.m. PT. 9, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So look forward to that. State of play will be streamed here on the channel. Um, yo, what's up? Socar. Shout out to the Renegon user Socar here in the chat. What's good, my boy? Good to see you here. Good to see you here. Um, J2 Blue says, I could never get into into any of the anime, the Pokemon anime. Digimon was always much better show, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, you know what? I thought I never thought Digimon was that great. I always thought Monster Rancher. Here's my order of shows. Pokemon, Monster Rancher, then Digimon. So I thought I thought Monster Rancher was even sometimes as good as Pokemon. So I was big into Monster Rancher. If if if, if you're talking about like a, a show outside of Pokemon, I was like it. Monster Rancher was my show, dude. I love Monster Rancher. The original Monster Rancher, that show was dope, dude. I used to watch it all the time. But you have to wake up super early in the morning to watch Monster Rancher because I think it came on before Pokemon. Um, I know sometimes it did, at least in my area. And um, yeah, you have to wake up at like four thirty in the morning to watch to watch Monster Rancher. So Monster Rancher. So yeah. Yo, what's up, Charity Scott? Uh, she says uh, my favorite show growing up was Lloyd in Space. Has anyone heard of that show, Lloyd in Space? I've never heard of that show at all. I need to. I need to see what it is. What's this show about? Whoa, this show looks like a weirdo show. First episode, February two thousand one. In February twenty or uh, February uh, two thousand four, so I had a three about a three season run, or no five seasons, over about three years. Hmm. Let me show you guys what Charity's talking about. It's really weird. What was this show about, Charity? I've never I've never seen this guy in my life. Never even heard it. Where and where was this show on? What? What uh what TV show or what uh what network was it on? Kind of looks like future looks like a bootleg Futurama. T okay, there we go. Toon Disney. Okay, that's why Disney. I was not like a Disney person. As soon as I got like in the high school, I didn't watch anything Disney. I watched Disney when I was a kid. So you you grew up like in the 2000s, right? Because you're in your early, mid-20s. Um, I'm in my early 30s. So I, I grew up watching Disney as a kid. But 2001, I was already in high school. So I wasn't going to be... I wasn't watching Toon Disney when, when I was in high school. So, so yeah. Interesting looking show, though. Um, interesting looking show. Let's see. Did you watch a cartoon? My dad, the rock. My dad, the rock star. Nah, I never watched that either. Uh, you like Monster Rancher? I do like Monster Rancher. Monster Rancher was my show when I was getting ready for school. Yeah, exactly. It used to be Monster Rancher and then like Pokemon. Pokemon came on in the morning too, like six a.m. for Pokemon. I think it was like five thirty for Monster Rancher, then six a.m. for for um, for uh, for Pokemon. Oh, well, OJ, it's not a weirdo show. It was on Disney. It's about a teenage alien boy in high school. Okay. I just said it looks like a weirdo show. It looks like a weirdo show. Not that there's anything wrong with weirdo shows. Like, Monster Rancher looks weird as hell, too. So, nothing wrong with weirdo shows. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, it was on Toon Disney. Toon Disney. Um, let's see here. Cop the news that Mega Man is getting a live action movie. LOL thoughts. Well, yeah, didn't we already know about Mega Man's getting a live action movie or something like that? But anyway, yeah, I don't really, I don't have any thoughts on that. We'll see if it actually comes out. But I thought, I thought we already knew about that. Maybe we didn't. Is that something new? You guys have some weird cartoon shows that you guys are talking about. I have no idea what some of you guys are saying here when it comes to some of these shows and all that. <laughs> Let's see here. I was Nickelodeon Cartoon Network. Yeah, that's what I watched when I was a kid growing up. Nickelodeon Cartoon Network. It's pretty much. 
Uh, did you used to watch the Ultimate Muscle? Nah, not really. Ultimate Muscle Muscle looked stupid to me when I was a kid. What are your thoughts on uh, Bakugan and Beyblade? Nah, I'm not really big into those either. Not really, not really big into those either. Um, like, like the spinning, like the the toys that you spin and all that, and like the animes with them. Nah, not into those either, man. And I same here. I wasn't huge on Disney. I liked Disney when I was when I was a child, like Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, and like. Um, like Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles. Like, I watched all that stuff as a kid. You know, those early 90s, mid 90s, late 90s. But once I got to, like, high school, obviously, I wasn't watching that. When I was in high school, what was I watching? Um, I was just watching ESPN. I'll be honest, man. I was watching was ESPN. <laughs> I was just watching ESPN all day. Uh, just because I was really into sports when I was in high school. Wait, timed out from... Wait, hold up. Timed out by Streamlabs? <laughs> oh, because you said queer duck. <laughs> they ti they timed you out for what? Bro, this man Streamlabs. You gotta, bro. <laughs> this man Streamlabs timed you out. Bro, I've never heard about that before. Streamlabs was like, frat air. Time out for. One second. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Streamlabs out here timing people out for one second, bro. You can't talk now. You can't talk. <laughs> What's, this? What's going on, man? Oh my God, Streamlabs out. Streamlabs, he punched it. My boy, Streamlabs be punching in early. First person here, last person to leave <laughs> the facilities. Um, Moses split uh split the ocean two with the Beyblade. Yo. <laughs> Stream labs just be like, um, I'm gonna time someone out, yeah, pretty much. Um, as a kid, I watched Zelda, Dragon Ball Z. Me too, I watched Dragon Ball Z. I watched, oh, I watched Dragon Ball Z into high school too. Yeah, all throughout high school, I watched Dragon Ball Z. Like, it was like, I watched Dragon Ball Z all the way throughout high school. Um, activated my trap card and then take three episodes to finish the duel. Yo, um, you got purged. Brett. Gordy says, What the F? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, he just didn't like what you said, man. He didn't like what you had to say there about that duck. <laughs> it's like, how dare you call that duck that? <laughs> um, let's see here. Yo, what's what's up? What's up, Fireblast? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Um, all right. You guys got any more questions? Let's keep it going. Uh, what about the Proud Family? I used to watch the Proud Family every now and then, but not, I wasn't really big into it or anything like that. Nah. Keep the questions coming, guys. If you guys have questions on gaming and all that, let me know. I know it's been a, pretty much like a slow week, right? It really hasn't been much, you know, new gaming news or stuff to talk about. But if you guys, if you guys have any questions on the videos that I've done so far or anything like that, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, so, yeah, really just more Ultimate Alliance. We had um, uh, War Tech Fighters. What's this game about? War Tech Fighters. When will Black come to Switch? Black, the PS2 game? I don't know if it'll ever come to Switch. What is War Tech Fighters? It's available on June 27th. I want to see this game, War Tech Fighters. It's on Gematsu. I want to see this game right here. I'm going to react to it. Get Shakedown Hawaii? Alright, maybe I'll get Shakedown Hawaii. Do I have any Incineroar tips? Kibos was chosen for the gathering of a new resistance force. From that day... The future of the colonies lied in the hands of a few brave fighters. That's kind of cool. Oh, he kicked that plank. The multiplayer? Check it 
it's doing for you what Damon X Machina isn't, but you haven't even played this game yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you talking about? You can put a clip together of Damon X Machina and it would look just as cool as that game, if not better. <laughs> what What is this game that you haven't played doing for you that Damon X Machina didn't do? <laughs> I think Damon X Machina looks a lot better than that game, but it's all good. It's all good. If you think if you if it's doing more for you, then it's all good. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Um, funny, easygoing, and intelligent. Funny, easygoing, intelligent. You guys can all describe yourselves in three words now. There you go. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, any any Incineroar tips? Uh, yeah, Incineroar tips. I got a lot of Incineroar tips for you. I got a lot of Incineroar tips. Um, Incineroar has really good grabs, so grab people. <laughs> That's my tips. Uh, what happened to town? Town's still coming, guys. Just wait for wait for an update. <laughs> you didn't have to delete what he had. You didn't have to delete what he said. Thank me. You didn't have to time him out either. Uh, he was just making a reference to the whole uh, to the whole podcast thing. So sorry about that, Midas Magazine. They thought that you were trolling. So so yeah, but no, it's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Uh, shots fired or Damon X Machina. Yeah, there's some shots fired there. I don't think that game is going to be better. I don't think this game is better than Damon X Machina. I think Damon X Machina is going to be a much better game. Based on what I saw right now compared to Damon X Machina, I think Damon X Machina is going to be a much better game. Uh, but hey, that's just me. Fair, feisty, and humble. Okay. Fair, feisty, and humble. Sounds good. I'm still getting it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't say that you're not. I'm just saying I didn't see anything from that that makes... It's like, oh my gosh, that looks so much better than Damon X Machina. Like, I, I didn't see anything from that trailer. It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but I didn't see anything from that trailer that makes it look better than what Damon X Machina has shown in their trailers, you know? So, that's just me. That's just me. If you think it's better, that's fair. And that's fair. That That is fair. <laughs> uh, that is fair. Uh, a release date is what it's it's doing for me. A release date, that's true. It's got a release date. Damon X Machina just has a release window of summer. Uh, but Damon X, but you can actually play Damon X Machina right now. You know, so that's the difference, I guess. Why was Midas time? It was they thought that he was trolling VC. Um, they thought yeah, he was trolling, but he wasn't. He was just making a joke. Uh, Dina says three words. You are done. Check mark. All right. This actually makes me want a Transformers game after watching that video. There's there's a Transformers game. It's called Transformers Devastation. Platinum Games made it. It's actually not bad. Let me, let me show you guys. It's actually not a bad game. You should check it out. Not a bad game. It works well enough. Oh, hit him with the truck. Areas and this is a 360 version. Oh, he's getting body. Actually, I watched the full let's play of this, or not a full let's play, but I watched a lot of let's play of this game. It's, it's, it's not bad. So, yeah, check out this. If you want to transform, you want to play a good Transformers game, Transformers Devastation is probably your best bet. Turn into a truck and combo people. Run them over. Uh, the what? I think the multiplayer looks lacking. It appears to run and uh, turn into a 2D fighter. What are you talking about? Transformers? What are you talking about? 
best platinum game games game is Legend of Korra, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think you're joking though. <laughs> it's probably like the worst one. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Let's see, do you think next year, guys, tag me at Player Essence if you want me to see your comment or your question. Do you think next year we could see the first trailer for the next big three Zelda game? Next year, that'll be three years since it launched. So, yeah, yeah, I think we can see that. Maybe they announce it next year in, like, some type of uh, Nintendo Direct or something. Uh, do I think they'll re-release Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 on the Switch? Nah, they wouldn't. If they did, if they would have released 1 and 2 on the Switch, they would have already announced it already. But since they haven't announced it, I don't think 1 and 2 is coming. Because I just don't think they're going to, there's no more time to put it. So, yeah, I don't think so. Nope. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to do it. OJ, when do you think we'll see more info on town? Uh, Probably like at a Nintendo Direct later in the year. Or E3 at a Nintendo Direct later in the year. I think that's when we're going to see more on town. More on town then. I'll put this phone on silent. Let's see here. So are we seeing Doug at E3? Oh, absolutely. Doug Doug Bowser? Oh, yeah. Doug Bowser's going to be at E3. Easy. Like, free. He might even be the one doing the Nintendo Direct. He might even be doing the one doing the Nintendo Direct. So, yeah. Have you ever played Desert Storm on the PS2? I think I did. That game kind of sucks, though, doesn't it? Or was it a good game? I think I rented that game, but I don't remember it. But I know I rented something like that, like Eagle Desert Storm or something like that. Um... Alonzo Vines, shout out to Leading Alonzo Vines, and he says, when uh, when you think Cadence of Hyrule is releasing? Oh, uh, well, I think there was somebody talking about there might be some type of rumor or something that Cadence of Hyrule could be coming out at the end of May. So maybe it's going to be like a shadow drop or like, uh, like hey, it's it's out this week, you know, Cadence of Hyrule, right before kind of like E3 month. So, yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is hot garbage. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Not very good at all. All right. Let's keep it going here, guys. Um, any other questions that you guys have for me? Month till E3. Yeah, E3 is next month, guys. E3 is literally in about a month or so. A little bit over a month, and E3 is here. It's going to be nuts. Nuts, so It's going to be absolutely crazy. Um, I'd rather play Double May Cry 2 in GTA 4 with the same controller than play that. What are you talking about? Any other questions, guys, before we head into some Mario Kart action? Or are you guys good for today? You can get right into the Mario Kart. Oh, my. I thought my, my mic was about to drop. I was looking over. I thought it was going to drop. I was like, ooh, I don't want to hear that banging sound. That's going to go on right there. Anyway. Uh, have you ever heard of Crash Bandicoot? No, I've never heard of Crash Bandicoot. What, what, what is he about? Can you tell me about him? What's he like? What does he look like? How, is it a game? Um, Dink Meme says, do you see more Mario Kart DLC? Nah, I think they're done with Mario Kart DLC. Um, the state of play is on this Thursday at 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I wonder, wonder if Sony's... PS Plus games gonna be better, better E3 month maybe. Yes, he's a furry with pants, shoes, and spins. Okay, pretty cool. Sounds like a cool character. That's great. Midas Magnuson says, "Um, are the Wii U and Labo VR on your right or left? On my right or left? Well, I think it's right behind me, right there. Um, but then also on my right, there's the the box right there." But I have the, the the VR the goggles behind me right over here to my left, but then also the box right over here to my right. So yeah. Um. It says uh, at the AT twenty twenty mic is pretty amazing. I have one too. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. This one's really dope. It's a great mic. I really like it. 
really good really good mic use it all the time use it for voiceovers just use it for my podcasts use it for everything i got a boom mic too right over here that i used to use for my um old school like the pe news or switch news videos but it took too long to edit and render those and you guys stopped caring since you don't know about crash do you know about sonic the hedgehog actually i don't know anything about sonic the hedgehog um can you guys tell me about him what does he look like i think he's blue right i think i've heard a little bit about him like that blue little guy i think he has teeth like real teeth and his blue like electricity through him i've heard a little bit about him what does he like uh dragon gamer says did you already wish dream guy a uh, dreamcast guy a happy birthday no but I, i'm gonna go through this stream i think he's streaming like all day today i'm gonna go by and say happy birthday but um i know he was on a little bit ago i know he talked about his birthday so we said like happy birthday because we knew his birthday was coming up so i know we did that in the spawn cast like after the stream ended or whatever on the PE podcast, the camera is flipped, so it's confusing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the pod, it is flipped because I have to, in order for PE podcast to be ran the way it is, um, I have to input it into the second one here, and then I, and then, so then it makes the camera flip since it's on the second monitor. I think if I put it on the fir, on the same monitor, it wouldn't be flipped, but I can't do that. Otherwise, stuff, or actually, I could, I could actually do it. I could put the first one on there. I could try it. Anyway, yeah, we'll see. Um, Dankum says, is Sonic 06 better than the Sonic movie? Uh, well, the Sonic movie isn't out yet, so we have to wait and see which one's better. Um, I think he's green, and he has uh, he has a swamp, and he has a swamp. He has a swamp. <laughs> what do you mean he has a swamp? What do you mean by that? He has a swamp. We're talking about Sonic. You guys are talking about this new character named Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog? You guys are talking to me about him. To be, uh, to be honest, Shrek games are underrated. Shrek games? When's my birthday? Um, I think on stream you said November. Am I mistaken? No, my birthday's April. We already had a big birthday stream. I did a 12-hour stream for my birthday. And I not only did I do a 12-hour stream for my birthday, but then I also um, went on the spawn cast right after that on Saturday. And and then I I here's what happened charity so and I barely got any sleep because I was so nervous about the the live stream streaming for twelve hours I was so freaking nervous I um I didn't even sleep that much so I got like three or four hours of sleep I woke up at six a.m. got the stream started around six something streamed all day till about five something fell like uh, lied down for just a bit joined the joined the spawn cast like at six thirty or six. 40 or something like that and then did the spawn cast for the next two hours and then when i went to sleep when i lie down i've never fallen asleep faster in my life as soon as i my head hit the pillow i was out knocked out cold for 13 hours did not did not dream i might as well have just been dead did not dream did not think of anything i'm usually i'm usually a REM sleeper rapid eye movement i'm conscious like a lot of times I know that I'm sleeping, right? When I'm sleeping, I know I'm sleeping. There's times where I know I'm sleeping. I know when I'm going to wake up. I wake myself up. I'm like, all right, nap time's over. You know what I'm saying? And I wake myself up. And I do that a lot. Um, but this sleep was just completely knocked out. It was like I fell asleep and I was dead. And then I woke up 13 hours later and I never felt better in my life. <laughs> it was great. Uh, he is on your t-shirt. This guy? Oh, this is Sonic. Oh, interesting. He looks weird. He kind of looks like a funny guy. Are his games any good? Google Crash Bandicoot and you'll see him. All right, I'll Google him later. You can Google a profile picture while you're at it, too. Um, Score Moore says, I'm younger than you. And believe it or not, when I was a kid, I never played video games. I played good old Snake and the latter board games. All right, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. I've never heard of Mario, no. Uh, have you ever heard of X Men: The Next Next Dimension? It's a fighting game. Yeah, I've heard about it. It's it's pretty good. I've played it before. Um. So yeah, <laughs> the best game is called Sonic 06. We're just sarcasm city today. I like I love it. Sonic 06 is the best game ever. <laughs> That's great. I'm happy you guys like Sonic 06. I really am happy that you guys are loving Sonic 06. I'm I'm happy because that's a, that's a game that needs more recognition. Ara says, "What's up, OJ? Did you sh your stream just started? Nah, you didn't get a notification. Uh, no, nah, I didn't just start. If you look right down below, you can see how long I've been streaming for. All you gotta do is look 
just look right down below. I think even in the, I think in the, you can see it if you just like click on the, if you click on like, you'll see how long I've been streaming for. Let me check. I think maybe if you're watching on mobile, is it different? You guys might hear my voice. Hold up. Top chat. No, maybe mobile, you're not going to be able to see it. Um, yeah, mobile, you don't. Mobile, oh, actually, no, you do. All you have to do is um, click off, like, the live chat and then just, like, click on the description box. And even on mobile, it'll show you, like, how long I've been streaming and everything like that. It'll tell you, started streaming 104 minutes ago. And then all the stuff right there. So, yeah. I started streaming 104 minutes ago, to be exact, Arash. Uh, I'm on mobile, and I can see it. Well, there you go. Thank you, Lizzie. Lizzie has the has the goods. Let us know. Um, Sonic Heroes. Yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates and me arguing with weirdos at times. The funniest people come on Twitter, man. I swear, man. Like, the funniest people come on Twitter. Got always got something to say. <laughs> always got something to say on Twitter. Always got something to say. Mobile Essence. All right, keep the questions coming, guys. We got about maybe 15 minutes of questions or so. Then we're going to take a little bit of a break, and then we're going to get into Mario Kart. Mario Kart gameplay. Sonic Boom is a better game. Totally is. Sonic Boom is definitely a better game. Yo, what's up, Jumpmon? How's it going? Brutal Legend is a classic. All right. What anime franchise do you, um, do you want Arc System to make a game out of? Naruto. I mean, I think that's pretty pretty clear. Arc System Works needs to make a Naruto fighting game. I'd be completely down for that because the Naruto games suck. They all suck. Boruto, Shinobi Strikers sucks. They all suck. Shoot, watch the new Sonic movie. All right, I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it's good. I never really knew about Sonic until I started wearing this shirt. Now that I've worn this shirt, I kind of know a little bit more about him. So, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see how his movie turns out. Am I getting Super Mario Maker 2? Yeah, I'm going to get Super Mario Maker 2. Are you getting it? Can you see 3D Mario World being ported to the Switch or just remain a Wii U exclusive? I can see that game coming over to the Switch at some point. Are you still going to watch the Dora movie? Uh, probably at some point I'll watch the Dora movie, yeah. But guys, tag me. Tag me at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence, so I can answer you, so I can see you guys' questions a little bit easier. So, yeah. Yeah. Superman 64 is the best N64 game. Is it really? I didn't know. You missed most of the stream? Yeah, but you'll be able to watch the replay soon. And um, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's coming up right after this. So uh, we are going to be streaming Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, tournament with the Elite Ninja here. S Sonic Colors is underrated. Where I, was I in the military? Absolutely not. No, no siree. No military for me. <laughs> no, no military. I did play football, though. I played college football, and I played semi-professional football. I played football, American football for, like, years and years and years. But no, no, no military. Do you truly believe it's easy to talk to girls? No, nah, it's not easy to talk to girls, no. But it, at the same time, it's not super hard. Like, sometimes guys overcomplicate things when they try to talk to girls. Or girls trying to talk to another girl overcomplicates things. Like, sometimes you just, you know, like, you just go, you shoot your shot. If it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Some guys get too discouraged. You get turned down, that's okay. You got to remember remember what happened to Boomhauer on, on, um, on King of the Hill? Like, you know, he's always had all these different ladies with him. And they're like, man, Boomhauer be getting all these ladies. And then, you know, Bobby went with him. He's like, man, he's like, oh, can you teach me how to get ladies? And Boomhauer was like, yeah, no problem. I'm going to teach you how to get them ladies, bro. Let's go right now. So then, you know, Boomhauer took Bobby to the mall. 
And this is and he's like, he's like, hey, Bobby, go right over there. You go over and watch. And this is what Boomhauer did. He waited outside like a woman's clothing store. He's like, hey, how's it going? He talked to every single girl. How's it going? And the girl would be like, walk away from him. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to get your number. The girl would walk away from him. So he talked to a bunch of different girls. And then like one out of like every 10 would give him his number. And like one of the girls like wrote her wrote her number on his palm. And he's like, hey, Bobby, look at this. I got a palm pilot. <laughs> He's like, Bob, I got a palm pilot right there. So, I mean, that's that's what that's essentially what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you got to shoot your shot. You miss, you miss, you miss. Sometimes, you, sometimes you don't, you know? So, you got to go get your, get your palm pilot, bro. <laughs> Bob, I got this palm pilot right here. I'm just going, Bob. And Bobby's like, oh, my God. So, all you do is talk to every single girl until one of them says, yeah. He's like, basically. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, let's see here. Do you think the future of X? Hold up. Let me, let me go up. Um, fire bus. I have to disagree with Buck Bumble's the best, right? Yeah. Buck Bumble's the best. Uh, you just gotta be used to hearing no pretty much, pretty much, dude. <laughs> Do you think the future Xbox one and PS4 can get more walls with Alliance 3? I don't think so. It seems like it's going to be an ironclad exclusive, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, let's see here. Uh, Shadow of Nexus says, why would I buy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch? I, I have it on the Wii U with all the DLC. Um, well, the Switch, because you can play it anywhere that you want, and also because there's a lot more players on the Switch version of the game than the Wii U version of the game. So if you want to buy it on the Wii U, you can, or if you want to keep playing on the Wii U, you can play it on the Wii U. If you buy it on the Switch, you can play it on the Switch because there's a lot more people playing the game on the Switch because it sold a lot more, and you can play Mario Kart 8 anywhere that you want in your house, or you can take it anywhere portably as well. You can't do that with the Wii U. So, the, I mean, it's pretty simple why you buy it on the on the Switch if you want on the Switch. It's, it's simple. You can play it anywhere that you want, and there's way more people playing the game on, on the Switch. The resolution's better, and they fix the frame pracing, too. So, there you go. There's that as well. Um, JT Blue says, uh, we all know the best Sonic game is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. It's the absolute best Sonic game. Uh, girls on a whole nother minefield. Nah, you overthinking it. Princess Lavinia says, my fishing, my fishing rod is ruined. I can't fish for any more fish in the sea. What does that mean, Princess Lavinia? And are you a girl or a guy? Which one? Um, I'm thinking you're a girl, but what are you talking about, your fishing rod? Like, that sounds like something like a dude would say. Like, what do you mean? Or are you trying to talk to other girls, too? I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to sit here and know about what you're, like, I just need to know, like, what you're trying to, like, get at. You know what I'm saying? Jumpmon says... Jumpman says, you think uh, we may get Deadpool game on the Switch? Probably not. Probably not. <clears throat> um, Arash says, why is it that most of the time physical games go on sale than digital games? Physical games go on sale than digital games? Because physical games are just different. Because the, the console manufacturer has control of that. They're just going to keep it at that same price for digital. Because they know that they can. not Whereas um, retail games, that is through retailers. Where once they buy the game, they now own that game. It's not up to the console manufacturer to determine the price or the developer to determine the price. So that's the reason why. Promises that that's what uh, that's what I did when I got my uh, my date for prom. I shot my shot. There you go, man. You just you just shoot your shot. And if it works, it works. I used to be scared of rejection. And then when I got into college, I was like, oh, well, if they say if they say, yeah, that's cool. If they don't, they don't. So college. Yeah, it was like I dated a lot more than I did in high school. High school, I just got dates because I was a football player. That's it. Not because I actually shot my shot. Everyone just knew me. So, like, if somebody, if I knew, like, a girl thought I was cute or something, I would find out, you know, or I would talk to them, and they would get smitten by the football stuff. But when I was in college, I wasn't a star football player or anything like that. I was just a bench warmer and then not even on the team. So nobody knew who I was. So it was different. So you actually have to shoot your shot. That was the first time, like, really, I had to really shoot my shot. Because every time, like, when I was growing up in school, I was, like, everybody always knew who I was because I had sports. But in college, it was the first time nobody really knew who I was. So it was different. So, yeah, I shot my shot. Sometimes I get turned down. Sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I went on dates. It was good. It was fine. <clears throat> um, Deadpool game is a rare digital game. It's a rare digital game. There you go. Um... I think we might get Mortal Kombat 9 next year. Thoughts? Mortal Kombat 9? Like a remaster or something? Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. I guess I guess anything's possible. But I'm not sure if they're going to go back to Mortal Kombat 9, are they? That'd be, that'd be nuts. They, but they could. But they could. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, oh, I'm going to switch a little bit. Okay. All right. So, that ends the, that ends the regular Q&A section. 
of the stream. Oh, I think, oh, Mario Kart, Mario Kart 9, not MK. Okay, you said MK9, so I thought you were talking about Mortal Kombat 9. Sorry, Mario Kart. I don't, I don't abbreviate Mario Kart MK because of Mortal Kombat. That's the reason why whenever I talk about Mortal Kombat, I say Mortal Kombat. Or if I ever talk about Mario Kart, I say Mario Kart, you know? So when you say MK9 next year, I thought you were talking about like a remaster of Mortal Kombat 9. I didn't think you were talking about like a brand new Mario Kart because I don't use that abbreviation for either. I say Mortal Kombat or Mario Kart. Um, do I think that we could get a new Mario Kart? Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe we get an announcement next year. We'll have to wait and see, though. Um, all right. So, guys, we are going to move over to the Mario Kart Deluxe stream. We're going to take a little bit of a break. I am going to probably eat like a peanut butter jelly sandwich and drink some water, hydrate. Uh, so before you go though, we have a number of videos on the channel today. We had a big Monolith Soft video on the channel, a big Monolith Soft video. So make sure you guys check that out. And also we had multiple videos. I'm going to link my uh, page for you guys to go to. Um, watch my Monolith Soft, Monolith Soft, um, Double DMC and Fire Emblem videos. So they're all there for you. Now, if you don't want to watch Mario Kart 8, you can watch these videos. Now, if you want to watch Mario Kart 8, that's cool. You can watch Mario Kart 8. Um, we're going to be streaming that in just a bit. Or like, in between, while we take this little break, go ahead and watch a video in between the break. If, if you still want to watch some Player Essence, go ahead and uh, watch one of these videos. I linked it right here for you guys on the subscriber feed. Um, go ahead and uh, check out some of the videos there. Check out my mo This is big, Monolith Soft video. Because that, that's only 11 minutes, and we're going to take about maybe like a... 15 minute break before we get into Mario Kart, okay, guys. So, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Uh, we'll be back with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And yes, we are gonna be going through Discord. I'm gonna be setting up the tournament and I'm gonna be posting the, co the code on Discord. So, I'll be setting it up and posting the code on Discord very soon here. And we'll be back uh, with some Mario Kart 8. But, guys, please don't join the tournament until we start up the stream. Don't join the tournament until we start up the stream. So you guys will have the code, but don't join it. Don't join in until the stream is officially started so we can kind of get everybody in there and play at the same time. Um, oh, talking. Um, if you guys want to come on Discord, yeah, you guys can come on Discord and talk if you guys want. Um, but just as a side note, guys, no, like, last time there's like a lot of weird stuff going on, like no singing or like random yelling or screaming. Or anything like that during the Discord stream. Because there are people watching. And like the, the, I did get a couple complaints about that last time. So no like, weird stuff. Like no weirdo things going on. Outside of that. Like if you want to just talk. We can laugh. We can have fun. Make jokes. You can do that. But no like weird stuff. Okay. Just that's the only. My only concern um, about that. So. And it wasn't you party. Obviously it wasn't you. But I mean. It, there was just. There was some stuff going on last time. So just none of that during the stream. Um, and yeah. No problem. Uh, no problem there. All right, so I think that wraps it up here, guys. Um, we'll be back very soon for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.
All right, so how's everybody doing today? Welcome to our Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stream. Just got to get everything ready here. Almost set. Hold up. I'll be right back, guys. Just one little thing here. All right. Okay, guys. So... The code is up on Discord, so if you want to hop in, the code is up on Discord on the um, general game chat, and also on the um, and also on the PE Ultimate. Let's go. I got my original. Man. Just join. All right, I see you, VC. I see Party Man in here as well. How'd you do this? Mark Kurt's back. Wait a minute, was this course even? Oh, it was a. What the, they picked a random Sugar course. Land. Who was driving? Oh, it's uh, we say, of course, he's driving Bowser, not Peach. <laughs> Sorry, thank you for it. <gasps> Can't see. Oh, I'm in first place. <laughs> I didn't even know I was in first place. Uh, oh, VC. Yeah, VC Chachi over here, I see him. It's a tight race. Oh, he didn't get an item. Yeah. Give me a red! Yes! No! Oh my god. Freaking red, coin. Baby. Let's go! Oh, where the hell did that banana pill come from? Yes. No! Yes! No! Oh, party man, you douchebag! What do you mean? I'm trying to get a double. Oh. Dude, that sucks. I just, I didn't get any items. I only got one item. I, I tried to get the double. I couldn't get it. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I, I screwed this one up. <laughs> I lost to a CPU. Oh, my God. CPU was right there. Oh, and I was yeah. Funny. I messed this one up. <clears throat> I can't hear anybody in the chat. I can't hear anybody on Discord. Can You guys can't hear me, huh? I can't hear you. I can hear you. You can't hear us at all. Hmm. 
That's weird. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can't hear anybody on Discord, and the, and the, the chat, the stream can't hear you guys either because of some of the settings because of my t my new TV, or my new monitor. I got I gotta that's, learn how to do it to her. Hold up. That's weird. That's so. How about now? Can you guys hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah. No, that's can you hear us? Weird. I gotta get it set. I gotta get the settings right, guys. Okay. What I'm gonna do after this race? Hey, do I join now? Man. Yeah, you can join now. Yeah, join this. Oh, I got the fireball. Poji can't hear us, so he's going to change that after the Oh, way. God, I got hit with another one. I got hit with that thing, too. Shortcut. Uh, Where are these blue I thought we seen it ahead of me. I don't know if it was another, another oh, character. Man, body. Yeah, we had that VC. Oh no, that's... I can hear it that way, but that's gonna be weird. It's a close race. Yeah, there's no other... Hmm. Yeah, it could be a BSVC. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Hey, can you, can you guys hear me at all? Yes, we can. Them. That's that's so weird. Maybe it's because... Oh, yeah, because I have that plugged in there. Okay, I know what I need to do in order for me to hear everybody. I know what I need to do. Oh, you guys can hear me? We can hear the Discord chat. Wait, you guys can hear the Discord chat too? Oh, it's just I can't hear anything. Okay. That's, well, that's interesting. All right. Well, I can't, I can't hear the Discord chat at all. So, 
sorry if I'm talking over people or whatever the case is. I can't hear. I gotta figure. I gotta figure that out. We should have tested it out beforehand. So sorry about that. So I'm not gonna be talking to anybody individual. You guys just keep talking. You just might hear me randomly say stuff. Then, if that's the case, <laughs> sorry, I can't hear anybody. I gotta fix it. Dude, how many red shells? No way. Yeah, I, I just gotta be able to, I gotta do it to where I can hear. Probably man's got a big lead. Oh, come on, dude, that's come on, this random green shell out of nowhere. Oh man, I'm just getting hit with everything now, dude. GG. God, I got popped. <laughs> popped. Let me see if I can fix this. Oh, we got a whole crew in here. Let's go. I wish I could hear you guys. I gotta just, I don't know what's going on with these, the voice settings. I changed it to every single one, but I can't. I can hear that, but I can't have them. I can't have them like that. I'm gonna have to look at some of the settings after this match real quick. But I should be able to. I should be able to hear the, the at least the, the the video the video. And still is it? Is keep that lead? Dude,
was in first place and I actually got one of those blue horn or those super horn things. Oh come on, of course! Of course! <laughs> Yo, Mule Fan got hit by it too. Of course. Where, who did he drop from? Me? Nice hit. First time! No. Oh no! It's not getting any defensive item. Oh god, who? Who threw that? Man, that's. Dude. That's just called getting Mario carded. I just. I couldn't get anything good. I just. <sighs> Hit it. I don't know how I, I I can't for some reason it's not working with this whole thing with I, where I can't hear the, I can't hear the Discord and all that so um, we're just gonna uh, since I can't hear it, it's just it'd just be awkward so I'm just gonna um, go ahead I'm gonna log off of the Discord and shut the Discord down so you guys won't be able to hear them but you guys will be able to hear me and I'm gonna fix it for next time me and Party Man we'll, we'll test it out. And uh, me and Party Man, we'll fix it for next time for you guys. So sorry about that. Um, I thought it would work, but the way that my monitor, this new monitor, well, it's not a new monitor. It's the monitor that I, that I went back to my old monitor. The way that this one works, it's not, it's not letting me do it the way that I want to do it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So, so yeah. We'll do it right after. I'm gonna shut it down right after this. Right after this race. So you guys are still gonna hear them, but then after this, we're gonna be off, I guess. God, dude! It was about to... Dude, freaking so many red shells. Dude, what the hell? How am I gonna get an item?
Dude. I got like 10 people pass me out. Yeah, dude, I'm being, playing my trash. Playing so bad. I haven't played in a while either. So. Alright. So, you guys can stay in Discord and talk. Um, I'm gonna fi I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out after the stream is done. Oh man, I'm getting bodied. <laughs> the same smash. Mario Kart ain't no joke. Man, it's not good. How's the audio and everything, guys? People that are watching the chat, how's the audio? Like my audio compared to, like to the volume of the game and everything. Is everything balanced correctly? Audio's good. All right. Yo, what's up, Geek? I got off Discord as well. You guys can stay on Discord if you want. Um, it's just I can't, I can't fix the audio. Like I, it's not, it's literally not letting me. There's no option that I pick. I gotta figure out how to route the audio because, like, for me using this monitor and route the audio, every I gotta, I gotta figure it out because I am using a different monitor from the last time that we did this, where I had my other monitor where the HD, where the, uh, or the, uh, the whatever, the Display Port stopped working on my last monitor, my Asus. So I went back to my Samsung monitor. Sounds good. What's up guys, coming through? Oh man, I missed, oh I missed it. Bro, first place. Beginning. First place at the beginning of Mario Party means like nothing. Use two shortcuts so far. Racing and then just freaking blue shell is the worst blue shell is the worst item ever man It's such a trash item Completely like complete Rex Racing good everything's going fine Get a blue shell and you just start getting hit with everything Oh my gosh, dude. man i got hit with the, i was everything was going good i got hit with the blue shell and i never recovered no matter what i never recovered from getting hit with the blue shell is trash it's such a trash item it's not it's random dude because of a cpu beat me i just got hit with the random i got i was doing just fine i got hit with the blue shell that i never recovered Blue shell is so dumb. It's such a dumb item. Yeah, I know. I just I wish I could turn off blue shells. Blue shell is 
It's such a scrubby item. Like, it doesn't even help the person who throws it half the time. It's such a it's it's such a bad item. It's such a horrible item. Even for the randomness of Mario Party. Or sorry, of Mario Mario Kart. It's such a stupid item. Yeah, yeah, Big Bailey, hop in. Um the, the code is on Discord, Big Bailey. Do you have the do you have the Discord? It's on the sign up and it's on the general chat on Discord. If you want, I can post it right after this um Right after this match is, this race is over, I can post it on the on the on the um, the community page as well, if you want it. Yeah, we got room. We got room for two more. Yeah, it's on the Discord. Uh, if you go on the PE Ultimate sign up or the general chat, go on the general chat. It's on. It, the the code's on there too. Oh no! First place of Mario Kart is like a lie? Dude, seriously, it is. Look at this stupid blue shell for. What do I need a blue shell for? I hit him with that blue shell, literally did nothing to him. This game's stupid. Are the part of fall? I see VC over here in first place. Oh, dude! Getting party man through like three greens. Oh my god, there's Green Shell City. We need a blue shell. Where's where where where's the blue shell when Party Man's in first place? Oh. Oh, come on! I need to get this double. I need a super horn! Dang it, man. Dang it! Uh, Big Bailey, were you, were you able to get the code? Big Bailey? Well, I, I beat, I beat, uh, I beat VC that time. <laughs> That's my one time I'll beat him. Maybe next time we'll do all green shells. Nah, all green shells is boring. I just hate the blue shell. <laughs> That's it. What's good, Chuba? Big Bailey, were you able to get in? You still got one more spot. Let me know. You're not a fan of the Hyrule course? Why not?
Y'all going down this time. Oh, who bumped me? Yo, what's up, Chuba? Alright. Oh, man. I didn't know if that... Bro, Toad? You're gonna bump the princess like that? How dare you? Let's sleep outside, boy. Dude, I'm getting bopped. I'm going too crazy. I'm going too crazy. I don't know what I got hit by. I'm, I'm doing playing like trash. Yeah, Party Man's super good in the game. Dude, God, just, just getting molly whopped by everything. Oh no, dang it! <laughs> oh no. Should have known that was gonna happen. Respect. I don't know how I get six that time, but man, ah. Oh. Tilt controls. Hunter ye ye yeeted himself out? Go easy on me, guys. Jesus. All right, take it easy, Hunter.
where the hell? Dude, Party Man's gone, dude. Gone. I'm literally right in front of his face! Oh god, dude! And then it drops him right there?! This game sucks, dude. This game sucks! Sucks, dude. Art, 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 artifact, artifacting on the game streams. Um, all right, let me take a look. It's like, what is it looking kind of blurry or something like that? Check out Twitch. Is it doing the same thing on Twitch? Let me know if it's doing the same thing on Twitch. Then I gotta look into my own settings then. I still got third place, but dude, like. Let me, let me check it out on my screen. Looks like it's just YouTube being weird. Twitch is looking solid. <coughs> hey. Looks fine to you? Okay. Well, let me know let me know when the race starts, guys. Is is it like is it like messing up? And Twitch boys, let me know how it how let me know how it looks on Twitch, guys, too. Oh, you haven't picked up Mario Kart yet, Rilo? Oh, yeah, you gotta pick up Mario Kart, dude. This game's, this game's super fun. Oh, God. No, this game sucks. Never mind. Okay, guys, are you guys getting, like, is, is the game, like, pixelating and everything on YouTube right now? For those who are watching on YouTube? The Discord link is there. It's in the Discord, Jumpman. You can join in if you want to. It's in it's in the Discord. Just a little. Okay. I gotta I gotta fix it then. Maybe increase the bit rate. I'm not really sure. Is this the, the settings that I've always used? Is these settings right here. So I'm not really sure what I need to do. Oh, dude, I got burned to hell with this fire. So I'll, I'll try to I'll try some new settings for uh, for tomorrow.
Because your camera's on. Only the gameplay is choppy. Okay. It's probably the Elgato. No, I, I got a, I got a top of the line Elgato. So I don't think it's that. I think it's probably something to do with the uh, the settings that I got. So um. Or like even like the YouTube settings. So I'll I'll tweak it and then we'll try it out. We'll try it out tomorrow. We'll try out what what, what it looks like tomorrow too, guys. Okay. So just uh, deal with it for right now. Deal with it for today. And then tomorrow we'll see if we can get it fixed. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it would be messing up or anything. These are the settings that I've always used. So, so yeah. Oh, mute city. But I'm fine. I'm fine with fourth. That's fair. How did he hit? I don't understand how he hits me and my item's gone. How? So dumb. Okay. Random super horn out of, out of nowhere. for that super horn. Oh my god, dude, a bomb behind? Try to not hit anybody in front of you? Serious? So many. Oh god, dude! Freaking... <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Moo Moo Meadows.
grass shortcut. This full VC threw a bomb right there. Anything Getting destroyed by items. Third part of Manchuba, way up, way up in the front. I'm just trying to This level sucks man Constantly getting hit by stuff in this game. Just getting hit by like everything. Nobody. Of course. What the hell? Where did that green... Did I actually- I almost got a first! I beat Party Man in VC! 
I actually beat Party Man in VC for once. For the first time. Both of them were actually behind me. For once. The first time. OJ, you lucky? Nah, bro. Bro, how was I lucky? I hit you with the boomerang, okay? I hit you with the boomerang, and then I had a freaking mushroom to go past that. How was that luck? That's called skill. That's called using your items effectively. I had a boomerang. It wasn't a red shell. It wasn't a homing. It was a boomerang free hit, and then it was a, a mushroom to cut past. Bro, you knew that you were going to miss that boom. I hit you with the boomerang. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, I lined you up and hit you with it, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> he said, it. you knew you were going to miss. Bro, I had all the confidence in the world. <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh, uh, yo, shout-outs to Quicksilver with the subscription, too. Thanks, Quicksilver. Welcome to the village, homie. Uh, this is going till, till 4.30, so we got about 10 more minutes of racing. And then I'm going to take a break, and then we're going to be back with PE Live, uh, the, the nightcap. Damn bats, dude. How that miss? It literally went right through him. God, man. The lightning's the most annoying thing ever. Lightning and blue shells. Annoying. These damn bats, man. Oreo in the way, dude. Get out the way. Did I not get anything? Wow. I'm gonna get hit with so yeah, I knew I, I already knew I was, I was gonna get hit because I didn't I didn't grab anything. Oh God, dude, fudge. Oh, party man said he's helping with groceries. Okay. Yeah, body. Yeah, that was that was my lightning, but I, I it's not like I wanted to pick the lightning. I just I just I just got it.
Oh, somebody, oh, somebody took your spot. Oh, my bad, party man. I did. Po I posted it in the Discord, so anybody who wanted to play was able to hop in. Oh, ah, oh my God, dude! You see the lag on that? What? I was like, the, the green shell was like floating through me, then like a second later I got hit. Oh, you're in another lobby? Okay. Look at this great Smash Brothers character right there. Use the shortcut right there. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm already, I'm all jacked up on the stage. I don't remember it. Oh, oh my god, god, you gotta be kidding me! Get out here with a bullet bill and a freaking star. So scrubby. This show. A bullet bill and a star. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, who is this? Whose man is this? I gotta use this now. Use it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Tubo 1 VC2. <laughs> about that turn. Okay, I'll stop that for you guys. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Did you guys see that? I'm a good guy. I 
I'm a good guy. Did you guys see that? Look, I'm out for the integrity of the game. I could have left it, but I stopped it. I'm a good guy. How'd that miss? Where did that... Oh, come on! <sighs> Got freaking beat out by a CPU! Okay, tournament is finished. Let's take a look at the standings here, guys. All right, so even with Party Man leaving, Party Man still was number one. So congratulations to Party Man for getting the top spot in the return. You did not win the tournament. You got second. <laughs> Party Man got number one with 174. VC, you got number two. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of right now? Party Man, or that, or you know what that reminded me of? Like when Nick Young, like for the Lakers, shot the basketball, and like he was like, "Oh yeah, I made the three. And he, he turned away from the, he turned away from the shot, and then it freaking missed. It like went in, then went out. That's like what party. That's what like VC what did right now. I won the tournament. No, you didn't win. All right, I got third, Joey got fourth, Chuba got fifth, but Chuba joined late, so I think he probably would have been higher if he joined on time. Gunslinger, respectable number uh, number five, and then Guns Gunslinger's twin, Dawson. <laughs> Gunslinger two got seventh. We don't have a sixth place. We got two fifths. Yeah, then no sixth. Mav got eighth. Sokar got ninth. Harden got tenth. Amiibo fan got eleventh. Mr. Jumpmon. Got 12th, Geek got 13th, Hunter left early, so 14th. Big Bailey got some races in, so shout out to Big Bailey. Um, I think maybe you're in a different lobby, though. Jay Beezy's got 16th, per Perla Army got 17th, Zilla, Zilla times two, what's up, my boy, got 17th, and then we just got number two, got 19th, and uh, number Z Zombro dude, Zombro dude got 20th. So good stuff, guys. Shout out to everybody who played. Uh, thank you so much for joining the tournament. We are going to have Mario Kart more regularly. So look forward to Mario Kart at least once a week, sometimes even twice a week as well. Um, we're going to continue that with Smash. And then I think tomorrow is going to be more of like a wild card day. I might just play like a single player. I might just play something new like um, like Far Cry New Dawn. I think I'm just going to play that. Or we're going to play like a poke in or something like that. I'm not really sure right now, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, awesome races, guys. Um, and we'll be back with more Mario Kart probably this week. We'll be back with Smash Brothers again maybe tomorrow or like the next day. I'm not really sure. But Wednesdays, I'm probably going to do something a little bit different. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And Midas Magnezone, you can simply use the power of the internet to find out when Sonic Team Racing comes out. Just look up, literally type into your whatever. You're on the internet right now already. Just just type in Sonic Team Racing release date. That's all you got to do. Like, that's literally, like, why are you so lazy to the point to where you, you have, you're asking somebody else here in the chat? When you can simply type it into your own web browser, um, I don't, I don't understand that. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's open news for everybody. Just, just type in Sonic Team Racing release date. That's all you got to do is just type in that in instead of getting, making somebody else tell you. Um, just type it in, my boy. Type it in. You're using the internet already. Um, all right, guys. So that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, this stream will be live in just a bit, and um, I will, um, I will put it live for you guys. And then we have another PE live. We have another PE live. Uh, I'm just messing with you, Magnus. I'm just messing with you, my boy. I'm just messing with you. Uh, if somebody knows it here, you can let them know. But I, I don't know. It's like the end of May. The end of May. But if somebody knows it here, they can tell you in the chat. Um, all right. So, so that wraps it up, guys. I'll be back in about an hour and a half for PE live, the, the nightcap. All right. And we'll have probably like some random topics and whatever. I've already got tomorrow's video done and finished. So I'm going to do PE live. And then I'm going to sleep. And then I'm waking up early in the morning. I'm going to get another video done for you guys, maybe the Labo video, and then I'm going to go to the gym. So busy day tomorrow, so uh, look out. We're going to still have all the content for this week, so look forward to that, guys. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the party, man. Congratulations. And uh, we will see you guys later tonight for PE Live, like around 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. Eastern time. All right, maybe a little bit after that, maybe 6.15 or so. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.